Hello everybody! Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. Happy Sunday! I hope your weekend's going well. Welcome back to the stream. Just before we went live, I Kitty was sitting on my desk stretching looking cute, so I took a little video for the Instagram story of my, my stream manager. <laughs> Hazel hit the 400 mount mark! Congratulations! Part of me wants it to be Moose behind the camera, sitting in Hazel's chair with a pair of glasses, ready to stream after the countdown. He could sit in my chair if he was sitting up straight and he was very committed to the concept. <laughs> I think it would be hard for him to get into my chair. Oh, 400 gives you the Mountain Dew ground mount. That's uh, uh, beyond, beyond me. Sounds true. <laughs> She's right in front of my chat window. You want to come sit on my lap? What do you think? Don't mind me just picking up my anima. I was hoping for Petra mission today, but I don't see one and that's okay. Sometimes the board giveth and sometimes the board does not giveth. Uh, that's not anima. That's just rep. We're not worried about that. Go dunk this in. If I hit a thousand anima, then I get... A free 1,600 gold, and that would be 1,600 gold I'd get to yes, keep. Mortal. I have basically spent all of my gold. I have somewhere in the neighborhood of like 19k right now. And path. it's been very fun, because every time I see like a... I'm flying by a dragon riding world quest, I'm like, ooh, that could make a substantial difference to my bottom line. I'm kind of... I'm, I'm into it. It's been fun. Um, not everything in the ocean is as good looking or Am I nice crazy? I'm not crazy. Fire. I'm not crazy. I actually, I'm halfway there. I actually want to finish this in the week. Cue the Shadowlands flashbacks. Um, let's do a couple of easy anima world quests. <laughs> Any news on how time running will end? Um, gems items shut off. Yeah, they're gonna stick us in some template gear. Um, the anything that is that is remix specific will will be will be gone. Um, I used to do this all the time. And it's been a long time, so I don't know if I'm going to remember. This is a fallen knight. Uh, you want to go back? Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy all the Warbank tabs? No, I didn't. I bought one. I have two Warbank tabs. The first one is called Cheese. That's where I keep my pet charms. The second one is called... Um, oh no, they go back, don't they? Oopsies. <sighs> Firelands. Firelands magic has to go back. And then the second one is where I'm keeping my warband gear. I spent my gold on a few things. <laughs> uh, desiccated witch. You gotta go back too, it's bad news. A level head ensures our bearers bring only ready souls. So much Oribos. gold, was it mounts or, or mog? Well so I didn't have like millions. I spent my last couple millions on WoW tokens to buy like the epic edition. So I got my I got my dragon dragon my dragonfly? My war within um Epic edition with gold. Um, I also got like a, a couple things off the shop with it. So that was where a lot of it went. And then the rest of it I was putting into. I got a couple of battle pets that I needed off of various auction houses. I got. I, I, that was only like 50k. And then I put a couple hundred k into the Mr. Julon vendor that is going to be up for only another 20, 26, 27 days until the end of the month. Um, to buy transmog from hers, and those are like 100k each. So we've been working through it. If I get more, if I get more, I'll probably continue shopping off that vendor because I feel like I may as well. So that put me to 760. What else is easy that I could do? Forgot. I haven't done these world quests in a million years. They're kind of taking me back. Yeah, let's uh, let's pop down there. Do I have a teleport that takes me there? Ish, something like that. When does Remix end? August the 19th, I believe. Good morning. Good morning, Wolf Cloud Chaser. How are you doing today? <laughs> I uh, I understand that they're... Oh, my buttons are all backwards here. I w I've been hitting second wind and uh, not search forward. <sighs> Um, there are better ways to farm anima than world quests, but these are the ones that are the obvious and right in front of me. Oh, there's somebody doing it! Legacy of this place. I can tag it. <laughs> Seek out any writings you may find, so we may preserve them. If I could turn back time, <laughs> to be I guess I'm playing Shadowlands. Um, so I need I forgotten need memories. I think they were really like scrolls that we looted. This character is level 70 at least, so she should be fairly adept at 
fighting these Shadowlands mobs. Oh yeah, there's the scrolls. How long? How was your day? How long have you been awakened? Not that long today. I slept in until nearly 8 a.m. Um, I'm doing early mornings about half days and then not the other half so I can kind of catch up. But I can... <laughs> I am at a place in my body where I need to take it a little easy. Not completely easy. I definitely have stuff I need to do this afternoon, but today would not have been a good day for me to try to crawl out of bed and get going real early. Imagine playing Shadowlands. <laughs> it's like nothing's changed. I just, apparently I really want this 1600 gold. And you know what? I also, you know, it won't hurt to have the extra anima for the mission table, so it'll, it all works out. Did they change Radiant Echoes again? Took 40 minutes to get through one event this morning with a ton of people. I don't know. I'll have to poke around and have a look-see. After this, we'll uh, we'll head out to the, the relevant zone. Seen Bastion Check reminds me of Demi the Relic Order Rare. I wonder, just out of curiosity, in if I open up all the things, if I have it on, what is my pa my percentage for Bastion? It would be so much nicer to farm Mog off of rares, being able to learn anything. I used to get all kinds of drops that I couldn't use, I'm pretty sure. Hi, <sighs> kitty cat. Not that we're farming Shadowlands Mog today. <laughs> we're not. It's not true. We're farming Radiant Echoes. I swear. <laughs> Six out of ten. But yeah, just kind of curious. So, I got to 59% from Bastion. That's something. That's okay. There... Yeah, there's some scrolls in here. Apparently, four items from the world boss. But for other armor types, that makes sense. I played a lot of priest. <laughs> Stuff. Is that everything? This is everything. Cloth I would be have much more of if I turn on account mode. Or I turn off account mode, which I should have done just now. It just might take a second to... Uh. Huh? No. I have a keybind for it. Maybe I did... Maybe, uh, maybe not on this character. It should be a lot more. Because it seems like I'm mainly missing other stuff. The steward who had a 50 stack shield would run away as soon as you engaged. Every attack would take off a stack. You could do 2% more damage to them. I feel like... I just YOLO'd that one back in Shadowlands. I feel like I would just... Maybe it was because I was a dot class? I feel like I would just run after her and it was never a problem. <laughs> um, but I might be thinking of something else. Felt like I farmed so many memories from leveling ult in the event and yet I could only buy five items. It seems like trying to collect like the entire outfit of transmog is going to be the... The slightly sticky thing because yeah you don't need to be able to buy the whole thing you're going to get some of it to drop but there's no guarantee that you won't just get a ton of duplicates if you get unlucky you might need to get like a great deal of um a great deal of stuff so my hearthstone in this character will take me back to elysian hold so we may as well here let's do the do the kyrian one Uh, yeah, you can you can learn mogs you cannot wear now, but back in Shadowlands when I was playing this content, that wasn't the case, so that's why I'm missing so many of them. I was a melee tank, and those short little legs on that rare can go. Did they remove rep requirements for heritage armor? Yes, I believe they did. Hi, Kitty. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? You waiting for me this morning? You seek me. Nice. Courage steal your heart. And you know what? If I've got 2,000 gold, then I have 2,000 gold I can put with the rest of my pennies. <laughs> it puts me all the way up to 20,000 gold. Wow! Also, I can drop off 20 more polished pet charms. That's nice. <sighs> Pre patch event, amazing to level up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everything. That I was gonna level. I mean, I guess I have. That's a level 10 character. I should have just remade it in Remix, and I still could, but I spent so long customizing her that I kind of don't want to worry about it. Um, and then these these guys are in limbo. This one could probably go. If I'm gonna play a Resto Druid in PvE, I'm sure I can use one of these two. Also, those gloves do not go with that set. <laughs> Mm 
World Quest would have... Oh no, World Quest would have turned over yesterday. How did I lose Saturday? <laughs> Where did Saturday go? I had one of those days yesterday where I did basically everything except for the things that were on my list. I took care of like a bunch of errands. I got caught up on all kinds of stuff that weren't the things that I really needed. I mean, I did need to do them and having them out of the way will be good for later, but like, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty, pretty good at avoiding the things that I really should be after. What am I doing? Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I in the waking shorts? I think I was turning in, a, I was getting like a, a bonus rep cash um, because I had, I had gotten far enough for that to be a thing. Okay, 168 gold, very good, very good. Let's go to Dalaran and start doing Radiant Echoes, shall we? Productive procrastination, yeah. But I got you all restocked on, on cat food, huh? You're good for a while? Yeah, you're good for <laughs> Level 60 is a bit annoying for lower than 60. Mainly just the main boss isn't worth the XP. Mm. Hey, Hazel. Hello! How are you? Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Caps. <laughs> I was just imagining that you'd been like really into the espresso this morning. Wife got Thai last night. Started to go over the possibility of taking a photography class. Decided not to. Part of the class is history and science. She just wants to take pictures. Mm. That's fair. You could always do like a self-directed project. Maybe keep like a web page. I don't know where photographers post photos anymore. Flickr used to be a thing. <laughs> but like a web page where you just kind of like keep an archive of your efforts. I think it's interesting um, if you when you're getting into a hobby like that to keep records of what you've been producing so that you can, and like keep them date stamped so that you can go back and compare your progress over time later on. All right. Memories of a Nixie. We do like this one. She is up, appears, it appears. <laughs> Went and bought some of the expensive gold mounts. I was always hesitant to buy this weekend. Nice. Oh, there she is. And she's already under half health. We love that. I like photography, but I'm always too self-conscious to like carry a camera outside <laughs> or like point it at anything. I don't know. Once uh, once upon a time I was trying to take photos of some wildlife in like a on a trail and someone passing by was kind of jokingly telling me that I was going to need a different lens for the shot that I was trying to take, which was objectively true, but I was so embarrassed that I didn't really want to do any more after that. Like, You're right, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, there we go. That should chunk some of my, my required anima, or not anima, memories off of my list. I got a one-handed, one-handed sword. Lovely. So I'm looking at needing another 143,000. Um, memories, and we're sitting on 8k of them right now. <laughs> the dream is to continue grinding these events until those two numbers meet in the middle. I'm going to get more and more memories. Seems Actually, the no um, for his story I think it probably people. subtracts the total that I have from that. So I guess maybe I just want that number to hit zero. But my, my memory count's gonna go up and the amount that I need is gonna go down as I keep getting things to drop. I just have to be lucky and continue getting things that I don't already have. Maybe it took so long this morning because it was the Lich King that was up. This was much faster. Yeah, the Lich King, um, when I was doing it yesterday, was horrifically laggy. It was... It was especially bad on the first rotation, but it was bad for the entire time as well. A lot of appearances are shared. I wouldn't call this what if I need item ideas, though? <laughs> Two two-handed maces, one strength, one in. Gotcha. I don't know if I'm going to go out of my way for item ideas, but what if I did? <laughs> Dragonflight was bad all day for me. There must be something that's fundamentally difficult about making the event function well in Dragonblight because it seems like if they haven't been able to sort it out by now, it must be bad. Whatever the problem is, it must be hard to fix. 
the level and gear drops from the event are the appearances unique. Yeah, well, I had put out an article. I haven't looked at it yet, but there are a couple of um, unique appearances that you can only get when you do the event on a leveling character. Shields in particular. Nixie is the least laggy on Moonguard, at least. After I get the last two pets, stacking currency because pieces drop and I'll fill in the blanks. Exactly, yeah. I'm just kind of waiting until I have enough currency to buy the rest of the collection. And I'm curious as to how long it's going to take because right now it seems like it's going to be a, like a long grind. But with daily, I mean, we've already spent 50,000. We've dunked 50,000 into the mountain, all three pets. And that didn't feel too onerous to get. And some of that was before they even buffed the, uh, like, the quests and the amount that you get from doing the events and stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Nixie is the least laggy, Ragnar is medium, Arthas, <laughs> the lag king. Two shields and a book. Okay, that's not too bad then. Especially because they've been doing maintenance like every morning. Lich King fight froze my game until he was defeated. Turned it off after that. Oh man. Uh, there is one mount that you can buy and it will turn into another mount on the opposite faction. So it gives you two mounts for the price of one. Are they going to make some kind of sorting info? I don't know. It's a good idea. I also, um, I've, I've also been frustrated by that. Although, I guess I don't keep characters in other servers. I eventually consolidated all of them onto one server. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that they're not finished with it. Just, uh, version one. With all the things using account mode, do you know how to not show class sets you can't learn? I don't know of any method to do that. A bunch of people have been looking for one. And as far as I know, it doesn't exist yet. If it does, then it's not known to me. Where is... Wow, shut down earlier because of a memory issue, except I have plenty of memory. <laughs> Getting two more new cards recently was during a boss. I wonder if there's a memory, if there was a memory leak that they added? I don't know. I am not knowledgeable enough to even pretend I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> derpy derpy computer break. Game no run good. Fix please. Love Twitch. Moment you answer, get an ad. Mm. I will, uh, type, type of somewhat brief, but very short, because I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer to that question. Um, Quillbore? Figure out what the next best thing is to do. I still like the single boss events, even after the health changes. I still like them. What, a peculiar memory what do they want to do here? Oh, I got some shoulders for something. Did that event? Oh, it just despawned and I was in the area. That's interesting. I didn't tag anything. And I had been worried before about whether or not tagging something in the event was necessary. But it looks like just being in the area is enough. Because I got an extra pair of male shoulders. I think that's my third pair of male shoulders. <laughs> Greetings. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Rares drop tokens. Hey, yes. Oh, there's guys right there. I'm crying. What is it? What's wrong? Don't know what to believe in terms of drops or tagging. Yeah, <laughs> that is a fair bet. Ashes dropped for me this morning. Congratulations. It was wonderful. Deathside, thank you very much for the five month resub. Appreciate it. Also fall in love with my Rusted Druid, my sweet autumn boy. <laughs> Invincible and Ashes in the same week. I mean, you know what they say. Sometimes when you get a mount, you get another mount. <laughs> I'm in shambles. You have those forever now. You don't have to grind those. I mean, I'm, unless you need transmog, but you might have it all by now. You don't have to grind those raids anymore. You get to be free. Nice. So what's next? Don't listen to Zoldak. Take a minute and enjoy your victory. <laughs> ICC Trans Mug is done so. Morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope your weekend's going well. Next is Gmod, Angie. I still don't have the Gmod mount. I've been uh, putting that one off until it is sufficiently lazy for me to farm. 
Going for the mount draw the hat trick before reset. I want to know, and I think I'll just Google. Why do they call it a hat trick? Also, follow up question. What is a hat trick? I know it's when you do a bunch of stuff in a row. Um, according to Merriam Webster, the term hat trick as it relates to sports actually originated in British cricket. A bowler who retired three batsmen with three consecutive balls was entitled to a new hat at the expense of the club to commemorate this feat. Huh. Cricket. <laughs> I like that. You get a new hat. Got lucky on Jima. Gildy invited me to come on a run. I got it. <laughs> yeah. I would be a little salty too. <laughs> That's funny. I Will I make it? Yeah. Though. Doesn't help when you don't even want to mount that much like Gene Mod. Procrastinate it forever. I think it's kind of cool. I guess I don't really see myself riding it, but that's the world in which. Um, why can't I find it? Armadillo roller. What on God's green earth is happening here? First of all, I have the Mechadon mount. Second of all, why is it listed as an armadillo roller? <laughs> Excuse me! I wonder if Mount Journal Enhanced is just like having pancakes for breakfast. Like what is- I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not- I'm just- I'm just gonna close that tab. That thing is haunted. Uh, memories of Masha off and away. Hmm. Did a big update to Can I Monga today? Fixes several bugs. Oh, nice. I ran uh, I ran out on updates just before stream today because it's a, to I try and get in that habit whenever patches are new. Anxious. I don't always do it, but. I had a breakdown when I found that bug as well. <laughs> is it a, is, do we know if that's because of, I guess I could disable my add-on check to see if it's still there. I have the armadillo too. It looks like the mecha cycle. Weird. <laughs> so messed up. Constantly updating recently. It's a lot of work. It was a nice morning. It's quiet in the city right now. Lots of people are away for the long weekend. And of course, Sunday morning, not a lot of people get out early. So a nice peaceful walk with Moosey. Sun's out, not too hot yet. Squirrel, squirreling. If you mod, you have to use the periods and go. I think this is pretty sick. I think the the shield door with, with Gallywix's face on it and stuff, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if I would ride it, but that's true of like most mounts I get now because when you have like 900 mounts, it's like, what is, <laughs> what's another one gonna do? Don't like using big mounts that often? Mm. Uh, guess what? I went to the farmer's market and got fresh things. Oh, that's nice. That's exciting. Did he reset? Or did the event just like instantly respawn? Gonna make number go up. <laughs> what do you think of the buffed health on the elites and bosses? I think it's good because it gives people a chance to get there. Um, I haven't been in too many instances where it takes ages to kill the boss. If I have been, it's mainly because of lag and not because of the health pool. Um, so I think it's I think it's good. DFA remix, we need mechatons. I would love a BFA remix. What do you think of the next Mythic Plus mount? If you have seen it, I have not seen it. Is it in the journal? Can I can I look it up in my game? Took us like 30 minutes to kill the Lich King the other day. New kind of squash I've never tried before. Ron Denise. Uh, what do you like doing with squash? Do you roast it? You make soup? Uh, what else can you do? You can put it in quiche. <laughs> Some people put it on pizza. I find it's got kind of a high water content for that. A diamond mech suit. Oh. Um. Oh, hang on. My cursor's stuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I can't close my mount journal because my cursor is. Oh, there we go. I found it. My diamond magni boy. Very small. Actually, eat them raw. I think they're tasty. Raw squash? 
I've never heard of such a thing before. Roast and put him in the stew. These are more like zucchini. I mean, I also don't know if I've ever had raw zucchini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you are you are an adventurous person. I'm sure it's delicious. I've just never come across it. I went to a grocery shopping yesterday and I got like maybe three or four things from produce instead of like a whole collection of stuff because lately I haven't been eating things while they're fresh and I'm like, I'm just going to not buy things that I'm not going to eat in time for now. I'm just going to try and <laughs> eat what I have. Rely a little bit on the frozen fruits and veggies because uh, I it's demoralizing to spend money on stuff that's just going to go bad in my fridge before I remember that I have it. Need to make zucchini bread again. Well, nice. Prefer zucchini raw, gets too much cooked. The for memory me. of Anixia and her. Mood. It's not something I really buy on purpose. Still. People put it in veggie lasagna, and it's okay. Frozen veggies are great if prepped properly. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that what we do is not does not count. <laughs> it's pretty affordable. I buy those enormous like kilo bags of the frozen mixed veggies. It's just like peas and green beans and corn and, and carrots. Just the little diced ones. And then we boil them and then we eat them out of a bowl. <laughs> and I go, look, it's a vegetable. Happy me not just eating bread. <laughs> It's about the most affordable thing I can do that doesn't take any actual effort. Um, nice with a, a little bit of margin, a little bit of salt. <laughs> Breads go bad faster now in the hot, more humid weather. Mm. I've always, unless I have like a really special fresh loaf that I know I'm going to eat within like the day, um, I always keep my bread in the freezer. Um, any loaf that I buy from the store pretty much goes straight into the freezer because if I'm I don't really eat like untoasted bread and the bread gets defrosted in the toaster so the trickiest part is when it freezes into a big lump and you have to try to pry apart your slices of bread cook zucchini on the grill with a little spoonful of salsa <gasps> you're living it seems Azeroth has no need that's what I do too records. yeah the one nice thing to be said for the big bags of the frozen mixed veggies is there's no prepping involved um which just kind of saves time <laughs> early finish today how goes it it goes all right we're doing we're doing we're doing just fine today uh, ready to eat veggies roast in the oven for 20 minutes transmogs the event drop for characters that are not 70. yeah i heard about that i heard I haven't got them yet. It's on my list of things to do eventually. Maybe not on stream. This is looking for- oh, he's gone now. Is it, uh, is it an Ixia time? Yeah, it's an Ixia time, that's why. Sitting on 12k today. Also, I don't know if I've done the daily or not. I th I'm pretty- oh, I, I think I must have done it because I did an Ixia right when I first came to the zone. Hmm. I'm kind of satisfied that I got the three new pets and I got them all leveled and stuff. We've got like our remembered construct and river pond spawn. They're level 25, and it's. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm not immediately falling behind on leveling up my pet collection. That reminds me, there's something I want to check. Also, I kind of want to look at my, um, my pet scores. Maybe on Data for Azeroth to see how I'm doing now that I've got a, I got a couple new ones. And I got everybody leveled and caught up recently. I can probably do that while we're fighting Anixia. Anixia's gonna be a while. Data for Azeroth. Did I make it? I was Lightbringer rank like... What was my pet score? Oh, I'm pet, I'm pet score 5 now. I wish I remember what I was before. I might have been 5 already, but my score's doing okay. I'm not that far from rank 4, but it's hard at this at this when you have this many pets to find new ones that you can get. That you don't have that aren't just like... Unobtainable. One of them that I wanted to look for. 
And I wonder if I might need to even go there to see it. Because I pretty much never see it up, but I often don't go all the way out there to check. Because the rest of the world quest shows, so you'd think it would show. Um, I need claws for concern to be up. Maybe I'll wowhead that while I'm waiting for... I mean, don't mind me not helping enough here. We'll, uh, we'll throw in a void torrent. We're definitely helping. Claws for concern. There's a world quest in the Emerald Dream that I need to find up so that I can work on finishing an achievement that gives me a pet. It's the last Dragonflight pet that I have to get. Go to the southwest corner of the dream. The quest will not show on the map until you're almost on top of it. If you're looking for this world quest, if you're outside of the Emerald Dream, it won't show up. Oh. Well, I should just go check. Every day, then. I should just I should just do a little flyby every day. How many do you have versus number one? So pet score is quantified. It's like a number that counts not only how many pets you have, but also um, how high of level and upgraded they are. So my pet score, let me see. Because I might also be able to look at like my, my collection number, but that would be split into companions and battle pets, I think. Or maybe not. Um, rankings. Yeah, so yeah, my pet score is at 171,439. Uh, number one in my realm is at 174,000. Yeah. I don't know if there's a number where it just shows like actual. I, Warcraft pets used to do like a more specific number. Not good to look out for someone just starting to collect seriously in the last two years. The uh, important thing is comparing yourself against your past self. You know, tr checking your progress. Not wor Don't worry about what other people are doing too much. Just, uh, every new thing that you can get is more. More is good. Do you know if the pets on the shop are potential drop items? I've never heard of anybody getting the mounts or the pets from these bosses or events. As far as I know, they must be purchased from the vendor. That's boring. You always beat past you. <sighs> Made a new Volpera, named a little guy, farming low level mods. Uh, I got a leather helmet, but I had it already. I had one. However, <laughs> duplicate. I'm not really mad at duplicates, because I'm sure that I can find them. Um, I'm sure that I can find a. Tell us with these echoes. <sighs> Whatchamacallums. Are these Azeroth's memories? Things to. Or ours? Characters that will need to use them. Off to work, have fun, may the odds be in everyone's favor. Have a great day at work. Watched any more Olympics? Yeah, it's hard because I'm basically like, I'll put, I'll pull up the VOD for an event. And depending on what it is, it might be like a seven hour VOD. And then I like skip through it trying to find the specific event that I want. Um, the way that my broadcaster works, I wish there was some kind of chapters so I could find like, if it's like the track and field thing, it'll be like six hours straight of various track and field events and they're all interspersed because they run them simultaneously. And if I'm just trying to find like the women's hundred meter heats or whatever, like I have to like really like jump and jump and jump and jump and be like, nope, those people are shot putting, those people are high jumping, those people are long jumping. These people are sprinting, but they're doing the 400 meter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I did watch, I did find the one that I was looking for, and then I'm saving the the track finals for today with the men's short sprints for, for later today. I'm going to watch that in the evening. So, <laughs> no spoilers. Actually, I don't think there is any spoilers. I don't think it started yet. It's going to start very soon, but no spoilers. Hmm. Level three tunes to 70, doing these echoes. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no minimum level for the event. People are saying Here that you might be a bit squishy in some of them easily. at a low level, but that you, you certainly can do it. Some of them are just scaled better than others. Watching some this morning too, there's so many events occurring all at the same time. Yeah, it's a lot. 
Oh, and I caught a little bit of the uh, I caught a little bit of the men's gold medal tennis match, the men's singles. I won't spoil it in case anybody's saving it. Short sprints are by their nature twelve seconds long. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Hard to find in seven hours worth of broadcast. I had the same issue when I was watching um, the gymnastics. Is that you want to find specific people? You want to see certain events, and it's just kind of a lot of like skipping through because I, I don't really have the like five hours to watch the entire thing. Tennis, tennis takes forever is the main takeaway that I've learned from watching the Olympics. Holy smokes, it takes forever. Um, unless somebody is absolutely smashing their opponent into little smithereens. Um, it, if it's a close match, it can go on for a very long time. Uh, yeah, I'm watching on the CBC Gem app. I have an Apple TV box, and the, there's an app for CBC Gem there that has been working well for me. Watch bow shooting. That was a brisk 10 minutes to decide the gold medal. That was even with overtime. Making lunch, I think my play will be to have a video and event playing, but the audio of your stream. A memory error crash. Apparently, that's not on. A few people have talked about that today. There's something going on in something going on in WoW that's doing that. I've been lucky, and it hasn't happened to me yet. But so, I think that when the part of today rolls around, I'm not sure what the next event that's up is going to be. I guess I can check on WoWhead. When it comes to Dragon Blight. <laughs> I think I'm going to roll in and try to do the Lich King kind of midway through the One event. The so maybe early in the Dragonblight hour, I might take a break to go do some Dragonflight World Quest or to like go poke around in the Emerald Dream and look at some transmog that I need. Check for that World Quest that I'm looking for. Because, uh... Because <laughs> the Lich King is like impossible early on. But I'm not sure if that's at 10 or 11. I'd have to check. Abilities randomly stop working. I've had to restart the game twice. Or no, Mop Remix can't get myself to do this event. That's fine. If you're not much of a collector, you can pretty safely skip it. You'll get catch up gear. You'll, you'll get gear when you're leveling in the War Within. Um, this stuff would just make it like a little easier for alts, but it doesn't replace the gear that you would be wearing on a end game character. However, if you did if you did level a lot of alts in Mop Remix and you're planning on leveling them in the War Within, it would be nice to have some of this. Uh, some of the Dalaran Defender stuff banked to get them get them off the ground. But King is laggy as heck. I've heard people start to call him the Lag King. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing his best. <laughs> he needs to uh, catch up on his vitamins, get rehydrated, maybe take a little nap. <laughs> Can't catch a break. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I could do, is I could try to work on finishing the sacred connection. I'm like halfway through, a little under halfway through. Frameborn hungers. Arthas is just getting back at us for DEing him in Shadowlands. These echoes must be contained. Work, work. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Little well, guy's died twice to dust while the raptures now. It's a tough time here. Oh no. I, can do that. I haven't tried making a low level character, but I'm gonna have to at some point. Bet you a paladin would be a good choice okay. because you could get shields and an offhand, presumably? Alone. In exactly three hours? Okay. Well, that's good. That means I can't be... No, I don't think anybody would spoil me. You guys are pretty nice, but uh, that means I won't be, won't be spoiled on stream. It is... I've been watching not just, like, the 100 and 200s. I've been watching a few of the different races in the track and field, and it's just so cool to me how they can... Especially in the long-distance ones... They'll be running and running and running, more or less in a pack, and somebody will be in front for ages. And then you get to the you get to the, like the last couple hundred meters, and someone just finds some gas, 
<laughs> they just turn on their burners and then go and then like the person who's been in front the entire time is like man and they're tired because they've been in front the entire time and it happens like consistently <laughs> oh, i wish i could transmog my palace shield is an offhand <laughs> you're tanking and you just have like a little bouquet of flowers picked wow up after finishing dawn drill confused about what to do most of the time mm. Coming in at the end of an expansion is disorienting because you have like an entire expansion's accumulation of systems and events, plus all of the various like hot fixes and catch ups and bad luck protections and like often when they change events, they make them more user friendly, but sometimes they make them more confusing. <laughs> it's also so specific, like javelin and hammer throw. I was watching Discus for a little bit and I was thinking, the only reason that this is still in the Olympics is because it's so iconic to like the spirit of the original Olympics. It's just here like, this doesn't seem like a thing that I ever, ever hear about outside of the Olympics. But it's just such a, they're like those, those classic track and field events are just so like Olympics coded that I feel like they can't get rid of them. Watch the 10k as well, that was nuts. Also about 30 minutes long. That is the one nice thing about watching on a VOD is I can be watching the 10k and I can be like, well, I mainly want to see the end or like the last like, you know, kilometer. I'm just gonna kind of skip ahead a little bit until I can see that they're on, they're getting closer to being done. People doing 10k in 30 minutes just blows my mind. Yeah. People are very fast. 52 minutes when I was in my prime. Archery and fencing are my favorite events. Hello here now. Welcome. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. I wondered my plans this morning. I thought, you know what? It's gonna be a warm day. I'm not gonna let my strawberries down. Oh, I needed that one. Nice. I got a plate helmet. I needed that. Whenever I see the pink text, also Trove Tally kicks in and tells me. I don't. I still have Trove Tally. I guess I'll uninstall it when the when remix officially ends, just in case you I do decide Azeroth to go back randomly and do a little bit more remix. Oh. But it's funny to me because I don't really know what its purpose is outside of Remix. It seems like, I don't know, maybe if I keep it around long enough, I'll find something to do with, something to do with it. I'm biased, I competed in fencing in college. Shoot, archery is a hobby. I love watching that number go down. That estimated amount needed to re obtain remaining things. I love that. That's so satisfying. I know it's still like 138,000. It's still a ton, but it's just fun to see like the numbers get chunked down off of that. Because I know when I first started, when I first logged in and looked at that, it was 333,000. It was a third of a million residual echoes. Um, and I still have yet to buy any gear at all. I bought the, the pets in the mount. So four items off the list, but I still haven't bought any gear. So it does it does drop. You will get it, <laughs> obviously, but it's uh, it's fun. Archery shoot at targets that are 122 centimeters big and 70 meters away. 70 meters. I can't even visualize how hard that would be. I mean, I guess people like practice and stuff. <laughs> it's like part of the sport. That's how I felt when I found out that the balance beam that the gymnasts are doing like backflips on and and all of these different things is 10 centimeters wide. You know, leaping off the ground, flipping backwards over your head and your foot has to land within a 10 centimeter wide radius underneath you or else you're absolutely ruined. 66k more for me. Nice. Bless me thinking you're doing great. Aw. That's encouraging. <laughs> Thanks. I 
wonder if, uh... I wonder, I think that this will, these quillbar aren't going to be fit, finished in time. I think that Gordok is going to be the, the next thing to go. Well, I'm just opening all my menus here. Who saw two beams and thought, yeah, I can do something neat? <laughs> I wonder what Azeroth is trying to tell us with these echoes. Sometimes you three in a row. Yeah. Just wild things. I watched a lot of the gymnastics. All of it is so impressive to me. I guess just because all of it's objectively impressive, but like... You and I want to try for the event so far? Trampoline. Have they aired that yet? I was I was waiting for the trampoline event to start because I just want to see what they do. I have no idea what the trampoline gymnastics is going to look like. And uh, I'm very curious. The brood mother of the black dragon flight. We must take her down. We must take her down. Once again. Yeah, so Dragon Blight starts in six minutes. So I'm going to do Anixia and I'm going to take a little Radiant Echoes break. Because we will do Dragon, Dragon Blight today, but not at the top of the hour. I think that's just a, a nice way to disconnect. Volt is probably the craziest. Vault looks scariest to me. Trampoline's fantastic, really fun. Three levels in less than 10 minutes, holy smokes. Bars and balance beam always look scary to me. Margin of error seems so low. Yeah, I saw a few people slip off the uh, balance beam. I actually saw somebody kind of wipe out on the pole vault um, in in athletics track and field. They uh, they didn't quite get high enough, and they fell before they made it to the mat proper, and they fell on like the ramp mat. So they they walked away. They didn't. Nobody said that they were injured or anything like that. But it looked bad because you go you're so high up, you're flinging yourself so high in the air, and then to not even land on the mat. Oh man, like watching the velodrome. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna Google it. It sounds like a. Shoot. Arena for track cycling. It's deeply banked oval tracks. Oh. I've only watched the road cycling. I don't even think I've seen the track one. That's cool. Sure they were feeling it the next day? That sucks so much. Hi, kitty. You want to come back up? Sorry. Why are you wet? <laughs> Did I drip my water bottle on you? Moose was wet this morning because when I was filling up my watering can in the bathtub to go water my balcony plants, he he's learned what that ritual is like and he's decided that every time that I turn the faucet on, he wants to stick his head in the tub and try to drink as much water as he can. <laughs> and he gets himself like soaking wet. He will also um, separately stick his entire head in the shower while you're showering. And then later he's like, why am I wet? Who put this water on my face? Despite the fact that he was like actively like hanging out half in the shower. But uh, he was smart. He was just walk dripping around. Is that French pole vaulter? Knocked out for not tucking well enough. Oh no. <laughs> my cat does that. Hmm. Hi. What are you doing? It takes forever to complete event objectives. In German, we have a special world word for athletics. Light athletics to differentiate from heavy athletics, i.e. weightlift. Oh. Tips for fight a car mini boss? Uh, do big damage. <laughs> I, if there's mechanics, I don't know about them. I think it's um one of the Searing Gorge ones, Hogger or Stitches or somebody. Or not Stitches. Stitches is a different one. It needs you to actually like do mechanics, but didn't catch on internationally. My friend's cat can have the freshest water, won't touch it only once moving water. Yeah. Supposedly it's pretty common with cats. 
and I guess dogs, like it's like a evolutionary thing that running water is always cleaner than standing water. So their bowl kind of reminds them of like a puddle or a lake that they can't trust. Whereas like the other thing is like a moving river or stream that is more likely to be clean. However, they make fountains. They make fountain waterers that are supposed to appease that instinct for cats and dogs. And when I tried to get you one once, you were like, what is this thing? I hate it. I won't drink from it. And you would only drink from the tub in your regular bowl. Well, I haven't tried one for Moose. I'm sure he would like it. But he also drinks plenty of water from his regular bowl. If he decides he's thirsty, he'll just go. He, he can drink so much water. He, he has like a large bowl. And he'll decide he's thirsty. And just go park in front of it. And just drink the entire thing. It's got to be more than a liter of water. He'll just... Just, it's so funny because like we'll be visiting my sister and we'll set out a bowl of water for him and he'll just go kind of mosey off to the kitchen to drink it and you'll hear him start drinking and then like minutes later he's still lapping away until the entire thing is gone even if it was like a huge mixing bowl full of water <laughs> you should get a cat fountain she doesn't like them i tried once maybe moose should have been named camel whenever he's grazing on grass i like to think that we named him accurately <laughs> Also, um, once or twice on, we were watching videos on the TV and there was somebody using a moose call, like a, like for, for hunting, where they imitate the call of a female moose to try to attract a male moose to the area. And, uh, and moose was like watching the TV and he was like, what is that? And I thought it was funny that the moose call attracted my dog moose. <laughs> Hogger has mechanics. You have to complete quests to break the shield. I'm gonna go dunk these pieces of gear into my bank, see how my collection is. It's a dumb IG video you probably enjoy. It was a gourmet dog. If you just give him his food from the box, he won't eat it. You have to pretend to make it fancy. <laughs> pretend to cut it season, put it in the microwave. Gets really excited and then eats the same food. <laughs> hey there. It's about the ritual. That's cute, that's funny. Also me, I like putting my lazy not exciting foods in like nice dishes. I like, you know, drinking a cheap old cup of tea out of like a cute glass mug that makes me feel fancy. This is my collection of uh, war band until equipped gear for now. Dogs are weird sometimes. A neighbor dog that was a hundred pound yellow lab whose favorite thing is playing in the water bowl. Bentley makes splash. See you around. Yeah. Moose hasn't done it in a little bit, but he likes blowing bubbles in his bowl if he gets really bored. He'll just kind of wander over to his bowl and just stick his face in it and blow some bubbles and then try to, like, dunk his nose. He dunks his nose under, and then he holds it over so all that water drips off his snout into the bowl because he wants it to make bubbles. <laughs> because then he likes to bite the bubbles. He, he does it in puddles outside if he gets a chance to, but if he's, uh, you know, deprived of the outdoors and made to wait in inside, then he will do it in his water bowl. <laughs> For Christmas, get a moose calling. That would scare you shellless. I think we'd get annoying if you had to do that all the time. Yeah. I got really lazy for a while. I would just like eat out of the pot. <laughs> I had a day like that pretty recently. I was home alone for lunch. Um, and I needed to make sure I eat something because I eat it. I needed to make sure that I ate something. Because sometimes if, um, if my partner's not home, I'll just get lazy and I'll just skip a meal. And I know that's no good. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make myself some craft dinner. I make it, it's in the pot, and I'm like, this is all for me. What am I going to do, put it in a bowl? <laughs> so I just took my pot, stuck a spoon in it, took a pot holder, because we're not trying to burn ourselves, sat on the couch, managed to eat like half of it. <laughs> Sometimes it's totally justified for the day. Less dishes, exactly, you get it. Ugh. Pots are just bowls you can put on the stove. A plus, especially since it was mac and cheese. Lord of Bubbles and Puddles. Got chocolate chip cookies for my birthday. Having them with every meal. <laughs> oh, happy, happy late birthday. Narcissus is the Panda Remix add-on for gems. Narcissus. I think I still have a link here. I want to go to Valdraken, and then I want to go to the Emerald Dream. Yeah, I heard about I heard about those new mocks. I haven't got them yet, but I am aware. Sometimes there's value making something special for yourself in an ink bowl. Sometimes on TV I'll see like really pretty dishes in a show. Um, 
Singles Inferno was really good for this. They they have like this meal center and they're making food for themselves. And they have like the prettiest like ceramic. I guess I don't know if they're ceramic. They have the, the prettiest dishes. And I think even when they've just like boiled an egg, because depending on who's on the island at the time, sometimes they can cook and sometimes they can't cook. It just looks really nice in those dishes, but I don't let myself buy expensive dishes because one, they're wildly expensive. And then secondly, I'm going to break them. I always chip my dishes. It just happens when you use them all the time. And I, I don't want anything that I'm going to like enough to be upset by when I inevitably break it. Because I will break it. Let's go to the Emerald Dream. Let's pick up, um, I'm going to pick up my seeds. Because maybe we'll get like a little seed bloom log uh, going here. Welcomes all. Let's pick up some dream seeds. Maybe some of these green ones. Go to the Emerald Dream. Do not get expensive ceramics on a fundamental level. I, I like, <laughs> I love them. They make me feel, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm using them as like an indicator of quality of life. Cause you can eat the same food out of a nice bowl as a cheap one, but they just feel so fancy to me. In like a in like an exciting way. Oh. My floor hates ceramics. <laughs> oh. If I break it, I'll be sad. Still happy I got to appreciate it for a while. That's a good way of looking at it. <sighs> Maybe if I get a dishwasher one day, because I know that well, sometimes dishes get broken loading into and out of the dishwasher, or even inside of them, depending on what it is. Um, I know that my dishes are at much higher risk of breaking when I'm hand washing them because sometimes I drop things. So maybe, maybe one day. I want to do a weekly out here. There's a few things I want to do. I'm just kind of buying some time until the, the Lich King stops. <laughs> I'm sure he will be laggy no matter what, but the first spawn I feel like is always the laggiest because people will get there right at the top of the hour. So I'm going to kind of come back for that. In the meantime, blooming dream seeds. Yeah, I want some seed bloom because I still need more things from this. I have 31 of 55. I have good luck. I have some of some of these things collected. If we look at everything, I'm definitely definitely missing some stuff. <laughs> have you ever seen a gnome wearing this? It's so big. This helmet goes to her belly button. Corel dishes look nice, pretty durable. Yeah. Farewell. One day. I'm gonna hold on to the dishes that I have for as long as I can get away with. Maybe I'll get new ones when I move if I had extra money. Um so Spruce Bow's like doing his Spruce Bow thing. Maybe I ought to go check in with him and get the weekly quest, because I know there's Mog that I need for that. Also. We want to do this. We want to do this. These things. I think I got rid of plumber. I think I finally uninstalled plumber because I figured I was done with it. So there's there's Chlorel. I haven't done a super bloom in a long time, but I know there's still Mog that I need. And I figure if I'm in here anyways, I may as well do the weekly at least once. Did you grow up with a set of nice dinnerware that would only get used for guests to show off? Not in our house, but my grandparents had some that would come out for holidays only. It was like, like fine china. Um, you can't, you can't get those any, those patterns anymore. Hmm. She also had um, special tableware, like a uh, tablecloths and stuff special napkins that would only come out for, for Christmas time, but they would come out every Christmas time. So, I don't know. <laughs> we, saw, we saw them every year. My gnome wore that. He looked great. <laughs> Super Bloom is cute, but my gosh. Boring. Yeah. I'm kind of enjoying it right now, mainly because I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's lightly nostalgic. Super blue. 
Why not super blue? <laughs> I bet you there's still Mog that I need. Uh, plus a weekly quest. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that I need from uh, from these caches. Although, I wonder if I need any of it on cloth still, but what are you going to do? Griffin spawning without the Azerite textures is giving copying homework vibes. I had a special plate. Sometimes I really liked when I was a kid. You'd have like a dish that was unique and it was just for you. Like some of them were like plastic. Like we had these plastic Disney dishes, like these plates and bowls and stuff that had like the little mermaid or the Lion King on them. And because there were a few different patterns and I have a sister who's close to me in age, it came about that this one is always for me and this one is always for my sister and we must never swap kind of thing because you know how kids are. <laughs> and, um, and I really liked that. I really liked the idea of like, oh yeah, that's my plate. And then as I got older, every now and then, I would have like, like I once bought myself like a, a hand-painted mug that became my tea mug for like all of my teenage years that I would have tea out of every day. And it was the only one of its kind. I like the idea of having a one-of-a-kind dish that's like your dish. Something about it just itches my brain. On that topic, I bought myself a latte mug last night. I thought it was ridiculous because I have mugs that I could fit a latte in. But I was like, no, I want it to look cute like a cafe. I want to have a coffee at the Hazel Cafe. And I wanted to look cute. And it was only five bucks for the mug. Um, it's just a, a glass one, but it's like a wide latte mug. And I only bought one and it's mine. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing to do very quickly after getting the mount. Meta achievement, super easy. Yeah, it was pretty, uh... I hung out here for a while working on seed bloom transmogs. Greedy. Oh yeah, that was... I didn't really... F I don't know if I was really, like, that invested in my, uh... In finishing my goals. I don't know if I'd really clarified my goals out here. I think that's something I want to do a stronger job of in The War Within, is to write down somewhere, like a document or a note page or my whiteboard or something, write down somewhere what it is that I want to do or accomplish in a given patch. If it's collecting all the mock up a vendor, or, you know, buying X amount of mounts off the thing, and then stick with that until it's over. Because what I've been doing in Dragonflight is I've been grinding things until I'm like 70% done, and then I've been just moving on. And it's... I mean, it's fine. I've been having fun, but I think it would be really satisfying to finish things, you know? You need to show us that mug when it gets to you. Oh no, I bought it at the store yesterday. I have it in my kitchen. I can pick it up on the break if you like. It's just a glass wide mug. It's not, it's only special to me. <laughs> they sell them at Canadian Tire. Super old Disney mugs at my parents' beach place. Unofficially claimed. I'm Miko the raccoon's mug. Aww. I still have a little cup and dish I was given for my first birthday. Aw, that's very sweet. Once I, I still have it, consider it my special mug. My mom has a mug that she got when she was a teenager at the Vancouver Aquarium. I saw her with it recently and I was like, man, you've always had that mug. And she's like, you don't even know. <laughs> that mug predates you by quite a bit. <sighs> It's beautiful. Watching you since BFA streams are always so cozy to watch while playing as well. Oh man, without Plumber, I have no notion of where I've left behind finished seeds to go loot. I know you just need to plant them for the weekly, but I could have got Mog directly from them as well. Uh, no, my mom visited the aquarium. I think the mug was from the gift shop. Here, here. I don't know when my first exposure was to fish. I think we had a fish tank for a hot second when I was a little kid. I think the fish died. <laughs> I don't know if anybody involved was like super into fish. Um, and fish are one of those things that like if you if you kind of wing it, you're either going to get lucky and it's going to be fine or you're going to get not lucky and they're all going to die. <laughs> I don't know if it was as common for people to understand the nitrogen cycle back then, so there was a lot of mistakes that you could pretty easily make with a fish tank. But, 
Yeah, mainly I got into fish because I really liked betta fish when I was like a teenager and a tween, and then I wanted to learn more about them to learn how to take care of them better because I liked them so much. Hoping the meta achievements track well across characters. I'm having a hard time picking one character for a full patch. Starter fish, I recommend goldfish. They're pretty hardy. I haven't ever kept them myself, but the thing that I've learned from my research is that while yes, they're pretty hardy, they're not necessarily a great choice for a beginner unless you want to start with a very large tank because they have a big bio load and that they they grow to be quite large. And unless you're intentionally stunting their growth, which is a pretty iffy thing to do, um, goldfish need big tanks. You're talking like 50 gallons minimum, and that's if you just want to keep like one, you know, kind of thing. Um, there are lots of um, resources that kind of recommend different beginner tanks. Some of them are better than others. But yeah, it's hard because like on one hand, a, a person who's getting their first aquarium probably might not, like they might not want to get an enormous tank, but the, the tricky thing is that the big tanks are actually a lot easier than the small ones. Yes, you have to move a lot more water when you're doing water changes, but you have a lot more room for error when it comes to something in the water or when it comes to like nitrogen or levels in the water, nitrates um, in the water, you have a lot more margin for error. Whereas if you're trying to keep like a five gallon tank or heaven forbid, less than a five gallon tank, those are, they're appealing to beginners, but they're also really tricky to keep. They're better for experts because of how delicate the balance of, balance of it is. Grammys chill fish. I had some, I, I really liked the Grammys I had. I was sad that the honey Grammys that I kept here didn't, um, didn't last long term. I think it was just one. I think I got one honey grammy. Didn't, 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 uh, didn't settle in. It was doing all right, but I think, I don't remember how long I got from that one. It's less than a year. The cherry barbs did well. I had a thick lip garami that was mistakenly sold to me as a honey garami that was not a honey garami. And I named her Chromie. And she lived for a couple of years back when I lived in Oregon. I had a 20 gallon long. I love that fish. That was an awesome fish. They're so cute. Finished with radiant echoes yet? Taking time. I'm taking a little break at the top of the hour on Dragonblight hour to see if uh, <laughs> some other people can get through the zone and get finished so that I can uh, maybe lag a little less. I don't know if the theory holds water, but um, I wanted to come out here anyway and poke around to see if uh, flaws for concern was up. I don't think it is. But people are saying that it won't spawn unless you're literally like right on top of it. So after the super bloom, I'll take a little uh, detour. <sighs> Have I been getting... Oh man, I've got one. One storm spirit. I guess you need to do like rares and stuff. I need purple. Yeah, yeah, the name was a WoW reference. I also had a, a Bolivian ram that I named Nefarian. Neff. Neffy. Neffy was so cool. I still have videos somewhere of that fish. I'm, I'm, I, he lived right until I moved. I had to bring him to the aquarium so that they, or the, the aquarium store so that they could re resell him, basically rehome him. Because I had to get rid of my aquarium tank when I moved. I love the nickname Neffy. He was so cool. I would love to keep one again one day. But that would be if I had the time and the space and the energy and the money to properly do a tank like that again. Um, right now I have one 10 gallon tank and that's pretty much what I can keep up with. I think that my, I, I'm kind of trying to vary my life out a little bit and it's leaving me a little bit less time for like all the hobbies I used to have at home. For years and years and years, I would never go out. I wouldn't really have friends. I wouldn't go do anything or go anywhere, but I had like, you know, like 50 house plants and three aquariums and a dog and a cat and, and I would cook and I would bake and I would just like, I was basically living like I was in lockdown before, well before lockdown was a thing. And now I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get out a little bit more and grow and meet some people and try some new things. And it means that I don't have as much time and energy for around the house. I'm trying to, I'm still enjoying all those things, but I'm scaling them back and I'm figuring out which ones are super important. So I don't know if I'll ever be like a triple aquarium kind of person again. He was so cool though. Um, 
We did the super bloom. I bet the seed's ready to hatch. I, I, I stuck a seed down here. Oh no, two more, two more minutes? I'm gonna think of a different seed. I'm never gonna find them again. I shouldn't, I should not have installed plumber. Number of rentals that don't allow aquariums because of water damage. Toddlers are fine. Fish are gonna damage the property. I think it's more legal to discriminate against fish than toddlers. I think it's kind of, it's possible, but it's like a tricky thing to do to try to ban children. Especially because sometimes people will rent your, will rent your unit and they don't have any children. And then they have children. And it is a thorny legal issue to try to punish them for that financially. Um, whereas uh, fish don't have so many rights. I, I was very frustrated by that when I was looking for rentals because I also really wanted to keep aquariums. And I was like, but it won't leak. Um, but it is, it's just a fact that it, sometimes aquariums leak and sometimes they break and sometimes things happen. And especially if it's a big aquarium, it is a liability. You're being the person your dog wants you to be. Hopefully Moose is a good introduction to people. Oh, there we go. I know I planted that one. Moose has helped me make small talk a lot better. I'm not making any, like, best friends from my dog introducing me, but it is helping me get to know my neighbors a little bit. People I would, like, smile and wave to if I see them in the street kind of thing. Try the Faracoselt tech. That's how I got the first half done. <laughs> it wasn't going all that fast for me because I think I put it off too long and other people weren't really doing it anymore. Mm, no, thank you. Farewell. But it was going, it was definitely faster than anything else. Oh, I got 347 now. I must have done something. I wonder if the Super Bloom did it. That counts. 90 gallon saltwater tank with all kinds of coral life critters. It was gorgeous. My dad was obsessed. Behind every beautiful, beautiful aquarium is an enormous fish nerd. <laughs> or an aquarium nerd. Sometimes they don't even have fish. Oh, that's great. There we go. Ishnu Allah, goddess watch over you. Then we open the box. That gave me next supplies. And then a cache of dreams. And we opened that. And that gave me a ring, some more supplies, a couple hundred gold, and some Drake's crests. My goods are up I want transmog. Um, so I have a seed bloom. I think I'm not going to buy the cloaks because those still have a chance to drop. Should we get a male helmet? I mean, ultimately, I want to get all of it. Binds to Warband. We buy the male helmet, and we can just learn it. Love that. I used to have to shuffle things around in order to learn the learn the other sets. Lag on the Lich King fight, nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. Could actually do stuff. Oh, nice. What else is there for me to turn in? The Super Bloom Weekly. I did it. I ought to be able to turn it in. Is she over here? I wonder if she's phased right now because of the seed. She might be. Those bloom transmogs can also drop directly from these things, but you have to remember where you planted them. Or you have to like hang out and wait. I want to be a dragon? You could make an evoker. It's a pretty good way to be a dragon. She's walking back? Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if she's walking this way. <laughs> does she finish her lap or does she backpedal? Oh, she does finish her lap. That's funny. I don't think I've ever seen her do that before. It is good to see you. Did I get it? I got it. I got my cache of over over blooming treasures. That gave me a wand. Oh, I needed that wand actually. That's great. I got a new appearance. Uh, as well as, oh man, it's nice not needing to move the rep tokens around. Having the rep be combined. 
means that I can just be working towards bonus caches and whatever character I happen to be on. That's amazing. And then I got uh, a couple hundred gold, a few things here and there. All right. And then we got our worthy ally done. I don't even know a hundred percent what it is I'm hoping for here. I know there is more transmog. I'm pretty confused about which things have it. The dream satchel didn't seem to have anything for me. We got even more rep and then we get a bonus cash. And then that one has a thousand gold and some pet charms, which is nice. Plus, you know, 4K, not bad. Walk There's really no point in doing the dream infusion thing, I don't think, you if you have everything answer the call of the from wild. her. Like, I wonder if you could get more to sell. Dreamborn, Scarab, Memory, Reverie. I wonder if they're worth anything. Rest until you awaken. Oh, yeah, but like, I don't know. 5k. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. I wonder what the rarest one is. Dreamhoof, Somnolent. Heal and grow. Dreamhoofs are worth a little bit more. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. Well, study not check the Dreamborn Scarab. Find your own trail. Reverie's 8k. 6k. Let's if get her let's get her one of exotic, a reverie. We may as well. I didn't know that I could get extra pesticide. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. It's a duck. Rest until you awaken. So are Have these legs too much? To trade? Needs to be at least Even cycling or something else? Old. I don't know if I'll be able to sell that, but maybe. And then I'm not even trying to disenchant these things anymore, I don't think. What are the crystals called? Is it eternal? No, it's definitely not eternal. I can figure this out. I have, um... I have... Enchanting. Oh, I'll just risk it. I'll just risk it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disenchant one of those epics that I got. Instead of 62 gold, I get... Oh, I only got a blue shard. That's a bummer. That's worth five gold. All right, never mind. We're done with enchanting. We're just going to vendor all of it. <laughs> Much cycling. Gorgeous out. Biked 80 kilometers this weekend. Plus gym later. Yeah, Pray for Mojo. Hmm. Hey, showing up. Showing up's the big thing. My, uh, my motto when my body's, like, feeling kind of decked, but I want to go do yoga anyways, is I'm just going to go get on my map. And even if I'm not giving like 100% in everything that I do here, I'm going to do it for the muscle memory and for the for the routine of being here and for the, the meditation of it. And I'm not going to worry about going super hard if, my, if my, that's not what my body has in store for me today. But I always feel a million times better for having gotten there and done something, even if I know it's not as much as it could have been. All right. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these and this. I was gonna fly around, else. poke around a little bit. I don't think Orastar has any more transmog for me. I don't think there's a point in doing the world boss. I've got 4,000. 4,000, uh. Gold <laughs> that I got today. I'm slowly growing my gold collection back. So this is kind of where Claws for Concern spawns. It looks like it really truly isn't up, but I do want to start checking in person every day in case I've been missing it, because it's not... It doesn't always show consistently. Okay, in the meantime, time to go back to Northrend. You won't be going into the war with him broke? <laughs> I should take a look at, uh, see what else I can get from the vendor. I got the gold gun and I got the scarab shield. We dropped 200k just getting those two items off of, uh, off of what's your face Mistress Shulon. So, there are a few more things, but they're like 75k each. Now, I'm probably going to go into the war within pretty broke. 
Throw our bank tab looking real good right now. I'm I'm pretty happy with two for the moment. I don't want to get a third one, even if I can't afford it, until I feel like I need it. That's my thing. I want to feel like, like if I feel like I'm really struggling with two and I don't have as much space as I want, the third one I think might turn into herbs for me. Like that, I think the third one's going to be crafting mats. Champion, Champion's Call, Prophet of Ceratus. I have 5k to my name. You could do a Dragon Race, you could have 5,500. Four and a half mil on me. I Thank wonder God. what Azeroth is trying to tell us with these echoes. Looks like Lich King will be up pretty soon. I wonder how, I wonder how it's going to be. People were saying it wasn't lagging as bad this morning, so I'm hopeful. I am optimistic. Crafting with enchanting. You're still buying. Nice. I'm at the point where I'm going to start fresh with... Uh... How come I didn't get any loot from that? I helped. I was there. Oh, it probably timed out. The boss probably spawned from somebody else finishing a different event. I gotcha. So that's kind of pretty with the rainbow trail. I'm just going to vendor that migrant shard. Get out of here. All of this stuff. Be gone. Alright, can we do damage? Oh, so far not lagging. They must have done something. I think, I mean, it's true that he has a lot of health and it takes a while to kill these bosses, but I think it's a million times worse when everybody's super lagging. Because you can't, you can't put out nearly as much damage. So this is starting to slow up a little bit. It's still playable. We're getting about a second of latency. All right, a little more than a second. It's, it's getting worse. Yeah, I jinxed it. I like that the event starts in a place where you have a dedicated hearthstone. That is super nice. I've been really enjoying that. I was worried that I was going to have to play portal tag and do a lot of navigating around to get to the different zones. So having all the portals in Dalaran and then having, like you're saying, the Dalaran Hearthstone to get there has been A plus for me. Hello. Hello, Maladol. How are you doing today? I will freeze you from within until all that remains is an icy husk. One of the sub-70 trans longs, just 10% away from hitting 7. Oh, cool. I'm going to make a Drenai Paladin, I think. To, to far specifically to try to farm those things with. Either a Drenai or a Lightforge Drenai. If I make a regular Drenai, he'll have to level to 10. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like leveling to 10 takes terribly long. Still at the bronze grind? Oh, nice. I will freeze you from within until all that remains is an icy husk. You see season one priest armor? Looks so beautiful. I must have, but I couldn't think right now what it looks like. Maybe I haven't seen it. Somebody's got a heart-shaped fireworks. Starting to want to delete all because I don't really want to play the class of. Warband Bank didn't excite me much when it was announced, but now after having it for a week, I don't know how well I went so long without having one. I'm just tickled pink right now 
And this is like the tip of the Warband Bank iceberg, but just to have all of my pet upgrade stones and stuff in one location that anybody could like put them in and grab them out. Shuffling around, I mean, honestly, for ages it wasn't that bad because I had a TSM operation that would just mail them to like a designated character. But it was just kind of annoying to be shuffling them around. I got a trinket. Yeah, weathered Northrend Sigil. It doesn't help me for transmog, but I'm sure somebody will want to use it. It's neat. Yeah, it's super nice to be able to just like, you know, if you just do a pet daily on a random character and you get a couple of upgrade stones, you can just stick him in the Warband Bank and not worry about where which character you left we him on. Shall try him. All right, so I'm sitting at 21k. Need another 138 left. So it seems like um, the estimated amount needed to obtain remaining things is not counting how many I have. So I do want those two numbers to match. It doesn't seem like it's automatically subtracting the stuff that I've got already. None of these are like super good. The Wedge Crusaders isn't awful. I'm gonna try by fire be purged. Hundreds of upgrade stones never touched until now. Feels so good using them. Oh, I remember this one. Oh no, this is using torches on. You can you can click them to burn them. That's right. Wish you could buy things that having to take charms out or having to take out bandages. Yeah, shopping shopping with charms from the uh, from the bank would be huge. I don't know how the progress is going because I don't have an objective tracker. Think you came with marks of honor? I know you can for things like if you have um hides in the bank. I don't know, like a like a mammoth hide or something. I don't remember any specific items. And you're trying to shop off of a, a vendor, like a dragonflight rep vendor that wants you to buy something with a bunch of supplies and then also like two hides and three teeth. I think that those things can be shopped from, from your bank. I'm not like a thousand percent sure, but I think so. Scaling on that trinket's weird. I'm level 509, about 350 agi, whereas a comparable dragonflight trinket gives 1k agi. I wonder if the on if the proc effect is really strong then. It's a regent, I think. Mm. I don't even know if I'm contributing because I don't see it here. I'd hope that I am, and it's just not showing. Trinkets are pretty naff, all told. Can you help me out? That's not the first time that I've seen He's the word, I mean, I guess I can Google it, naff, but I don't events. quite know what it means. I want to say it's British because I, I read it recently when I was reading the, the album ex explanation for the new Glass Animals album, and he was talking about a pretty naff production technique. But I didn't- I didn't have enough context to figure out what he meant. <laughs> uh, did you consolidate your currencies? Not especially. I- I moved some- I moved something. Champion's Call or Trials of the Origin. Oh, it's not good. It's not, like, really cool. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yes, yeah, see, I was- I was guessing the opposite meaning. <laughs> Back and forth between tunes, things I need ended up in personal banks, not the war bank. Mm. What I'm really hoping for when I do these events is gear drops. That's the main thing. Thank you, I wouldn't my call Lord. this particular now, challenges. I will begin the ritual of summoning. When I am done, a fearsome doom guard will appear. Which basically means a rush. For oblivion! Yeah, PvP will start. The PvP season should start at the same time as the Mythic Plus season. I have done it. 15 days until the Great Remix Jailbreak. Trifling no, you I'm think your Agnes will be your no. lord of the Burning Legion?
<laughs> it's like jail for them. Just trapped in Pandaria. Ever since Pre-Patch came out, I've just been skipping over those ults in my list. Like, I don't even really consider them to be characters. When they are, they're just not free yet. Come on, Draxus. I would love a piece of new loot. New transmog. I should make a cinematic for when your Rainix characters leave Pandaria. They just wake up. It was a weird dream. They had too much of the, uh, the spicy noodle soup. They went too hard at the wine and cheese shop. <laughs> Took a real funky nap. In the mountains. I remember this place. I used to live at the Dragonbone Hatchlings out front of Wormrest Temple. This used to be my absolute jam for leveling pets. Because there's a there's an NPC that can heal your pets right by the temple. And the critters spawn really fast, and generally speaking, it was pretty easy to two pet. That's how I leveled a lot of my a lot of my pets, because I didn't want to wait. It was before there was a such thing as pet battle bonus week, and I didn't want to wait for Super Squirt Day. For the Squirt Day. So I would just grind Dragonbone Hatchlings. That was how I would do it. I have not yet got any of the lower level recruit transmog. I've only done it on my priest so far. At some point in the event, before it's over, I want to make a paladin. I think a Draenei paladin. And see if I can't get the shield and... Shield and offhand. Thank you, High Lord. Now, challengers, I will begin the ritual of summoning. When I am done, a fearsome doom guard will appear. Prepare for oblivion. Paladin can't get the offhand. Aha! Not even if they're holy loot back. I thought a Holy Paladin could use, like, a main hand offhand. I, I guess I'm guessing. I've never really played a Holy Paladin. Trifling gnome! Your arrogance will be your undoing! You face Jaraxxus! Teladar Lord of the Burning Legion! Shield of my Shaman, the Book of my Priest. Because I will use two characters if I have to. It'd just be nice if I didn't need to. Yeah, I guess I could do a Shaman, too. They can use it, but it's not on their loot table. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, forget Paladin then. <laughs> Team Shaman! What kind of a Shaman do I want? I mean, I could take Krabby. Krabby already exists. She's a dwarf. Krabby is my flabby knockoff. Or I could try to make a new thing, like a Kul Tirin or a Drenai or something. I like troll shamans. Got it by the second memory of it. Hmm. 66. As long as I'm not just playing right now, I should probably work on my, uh, supporting my arms here. Um, I think it was in when the event launched, but we're still just kind of learning things about the event live. And because it was such a strange and not obvious thing, it took a little while for that information to get disseminated. Another will take my place. 
No. World is and it's Lich King time again. I would like no more RNG weapons from limited time events, please. Yeah, it's just such a wonky thing for them to do. I feel like if they're gonna do it, I would at the very least like them to mention it in like the announcement post for the event post or something so that people know what they're looking for and how to go about getting it. Having it be like a weird sort of like half secret is just awkward. King takes longer to kill than the actual fight back in the day. Yeah. Takes a little bit of doing. Oh, hi, kitty. Watch, watch your head. There you go. <laughs> okay. I will freeze you from within until all that remains is an icy husk. Time is it 10.43? We haven't even taken a break yet. We've been gaming. This morning went by really fast. I think without my morning stream, I would be falling hopelessly behind at all kinds of event stuff and wow. It's just so nice outside that like, if I, if I wasn't, if I wasn't streaming, I'd be like, well, fishing, hiking. I made non-combat content for these events. Like being able to like herb the memories out of uh, out of I new event herbs. That'd be kind of neat. Until all that remains is an icy husk. I feel like the boss health scales up kind of disproportionately. I think it gains the same amount of extra health for every person that tags it, whether that person is like a, a fully geared level 70 or somebody who is leveling and is just kind of tagging it once. Uh, And I don't mind the boss living longer so that people have a chance to come in and actually tag it before it dies. There's like a window for you to get here. But I do think that like the five plus minute fights are a bit egregious. They could probably find a middle ground here. Doing this wrong, all I get from these mini bosses are memories. It's just RNG. It's just luck. Sometimes I'll go on a big streak of not getting any gear and then I'll get a couple pieces of gear in a row. He died 10 seconds before the boss died, didn't get any XP or rewards. Oh no. That's frustrating. I'm hoping for an item. And I'm excited for the zone change because Dragonflight has rapidly become my least favorite of these events to do. I might get to the point where Dragonblade hour is just the hour that I do other stuff and then I can do the event in the other two. Looking forward to Star Reach. Now in other games, we'll never do that. I will freeze you from within. How long does it take to get the fast dragon flying? I think you can just do it. Right? Do, you, do, we, do we still need to unlock dragon riding? I think you can just do it. You might need to go get cliffs, but you might be fine. You might need to just you might be able to just fly. Sky riding. You want sky riding turn on in your journal. I don't think you would need to get cliffs. I think they've they've out they've made that obsolete now. If you're still flying in the old-fashioned way, you can open your mount journal and see if you can use 
Um, see if you can use the button at the top to switch flight style to sky riding. Yeah. Random whisper during one of these events telling me to watch a specific film. <gasps> That's funny. 1400 memories. And I think I'm going to maybe head back to Dalaran. Take a short little break. I think I've I've dragon blighted enough. If there was ever a time to take a little minute, we'll probably be here. Beer beep. Here in Eddie Games, occasionally featuring Hazel. This is my manager. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Shall we very carefully scoot in here? I'm gonna put your cat seatbelt on. There you go. <laughs> want to take a stab for a little bit. The next event's going to come up in approximately 10 minutes, but in the meantime, and for a little while, I want to try going to the Farrak Assault <laughs> to see if I can uh, get some of these things. Powerful creatures. I wonder if rares would be good as well, if I should just maybe turn on rare scanner and see if I can just trip and fall on any rares, if that would if that would help on top of farming the, uh, the lieutenants. <sighs> So I definitely got Rare Scanner going for um, Remix. We do still have it enabled. We can just turn it on. Or we have it installed. We just need to enable it. I like this transmog. You know what, though? I want to wear one of my favorite robes. I want to see... What if we take the moon robes, but instead of... Well, so I want a different offhand. That offhand's not doing it for me. Maybe instead of... Um, the. I mean, this is a very pretty back piece. What about the blue wings? That's nice. What about the... the moon? Instead of the moon cloth, what about the uh, exalted? around here somewhere. There's like a slightly brighter version. Although, those might be too green of a blue. Yeah. Nah, the moon cloth were better. That's nice as well, but... Let's pop that on. That is a lovely mace. Is there anything else that I would prefer? Maybe something like, yeah, a little more low-key, like the little magnifier, and then let's get something even more understated for the offhand. A little heart, maybe? We want it to be blue verging on purple. I want it to be not bigger than the main hand, though. I want it to be something quite subtle. Maybe a little lantern or something. I'm pretty much never going to see it. That fan's pretty. Do I have any nice little books or something? The lanterns just clip. Talisman of Caligos. Tears of Heaven. This I love the, the way the purple in that really sets off there. Maybe I need to be looking a little bit more under in silver and purple, though. This is just sometimes it's important. Sometimes you just gotta gotta do it. Even if it's just like a little orb or like a little, <laughs> a little wine glass or something. Kira Nakoma, thank you for the two-month resub. Hello, Hazel. Hope you feel well. Can you say what's the best way to farm the echoes in the event? You want to head out to the active zone. The portal will be marked in Dalaran as being currently active. You want to do as many of the mini events as you can. I still like hitting up the, the ones with the named mob bosses. Um, as opposed to a more complicated event like the Born Brew one. And then kill the main boss every time it comes up. You just kind of keep doing keep doing laps like that. Do as many little events as you can and then do the big one. 
Uh, you can do it all day. It is it is good to do your dailies, to do each of the three bosses once a day, because you can get a daily quest for each of them that will help. But in between, there's nothing wrong with just kind of continuously farming. You know what? That's nice. Nice little... Well, no, you know what? I don't like the orange glow on it. I was so close. <laughs> what about that? It'll do. Let's update that. It's not even going to show. Oh, you know what? It does actually. It sits on the hip. Yeah, that, that feels that feels better. That's more like it. Even even if it's not very shadow priesty, it's still I want to wear that. I was going somewhere. I was going to go to the Farrak Assault, I think. Pop over. Is it still here? Did it move? Might have moved. Is there one? I guess it's a valid question. Gotta love the lazy peon event. Quick way to level alt 60 to 70. Yeah. Uh, Shadow form can still extend to mounts. You need to use a glyph for it, though. Glyph of shadowy friends, I think it might be. So usually it's either in um, Onarn or Azur Span. But I wonder if it's just not up right now. Plant our banners to mark what the Dragon Scale Expedition has discovered. Do you think if we lock our level, we can keep our chances to get recruit stuff? I don't see why it wouldn't work, but I haven't tried it. I wouldn't. I don't know personally. I'm gonna try doing this. Um, this field of ferocity. The main thing I'm after is trying to fill out these storm spirits. It says powerful creatures of the Dragon Isle. So that tells me that. Oh, hang on, Major, find an Earth. <laughs> I need these too. I need the fragments. Something big just shook loose. I forgot. This I'm still working on this kind of transmog. Of Let's get excavating. I need uh, as many fragments as we can get. Also, eventually there might be some uh, achievements in this for me, but for now I'm just kind of worried about the, the fragments. The problem with Glyph of Shadowy Friends is that unless something has changed, it's exclusive with Glyph of Shadow. So in order to have your shadow form extend to your mount, you also need to not have the reduced shadow form. This could be a big breakthrough. I've got to tell everyone about this now. I don't know if I've heard Roscoe's voice acting before. Gotta recruit Axe on my Shami? Nice! Something's sparkling there, but like, I can't loot it. Even with my interact key. Nothing. So I see there's research up in the Forbidden Reach, and there's another Technus crying down in the Zerlite Caverns. Big Dig oddly bugged for me. I've been having an issue all week where, basically since the pre-patch launched, where I won't get any jobs in the dig. And I just have to kind of <laughs> dig up the, the little piles, and that's about all I got access to. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? The Hell of Fall Zone transmog looks too good for zone gear. I love it. Doesn't make me want to do it. Yeah. I think if I could, if I just keep chipping away at fragments via, via the weekly and the world quest, that's probably a good way to do it. If I really get fed up and I want to like brute force grind it, then I have lots of characters that I can take. Lots of characters that I can take. Um, through the world quests, and then I can, I can pull all that currency on my, on my gnome. It would be a big, big project, but it is possible. 
Did that get me any storm spirits? I don't know. Or 347. I don't think so. I wonder if I need, like, real rares. Is there a pet like this beautiful thing? Oh, the, uh, the tree. I don't know if we have, like, a tree boss pet. Designated Breeze Spider Farmer? No, I just do the weekly on him. Mm, that's smart. Although, if I'm in the area for a dragon riding world quest, and it's like 500 gold that I get to keep, then why wouldn't we just... It why wouldn't... Especially this race. This is like a really fast one. Why don't us. we just kind of like zip through these real quick? <laughs> Try to find a Farak camp with many players. I don't even know if the Farak camp is up at all right now. I'll check the other span after this. I, I don't really like realm hop... Or, pardon me, I don't like shard hopping. So if I show up and there's nobody there, I'm kind of out of luck. I guess I could look for a group. I, I guess I should say I don't like joining groups that are not designated for an activity. Um, I, I don't like deceitfully joining groups to try to just like take their shard. I want to join a group to do whatever it is the group is there to do, basically. It's not like a big deal. I don't judge people who shard hop, but it's just for my own sanity. Nicely done. You and your Drake are exceptional. Me and my Drake are exceptional. <laughs> 500. Oh, there's a rare up there. Let's see about this. I'm coming. <laughs> it's a shard knock life out here. You gotta do what you gotta do. But what if somebody recognizes me and they're like, oh, Inksy has joined my group to help me with this boss, and then I'm like, see ya, nerd. <laughs> I've, uh, broken someone's heart forever. Alright. Surely you will give me many storm spirits. You are a powerful creature. It's a real rare. 200 enemies in storms seem painful for Tyvan. It's better than it used to be. Because the storms spawn two at a time. Couple dungeons. Yeah. One dungeon. Ooh! I got a staff that I didn't have before. Okay, so that gave me, like, no spirits at all. I did knock it on offensive once, and it gave me, like, 30 spirits, and I found it to be an enormous waste of time. But... That was just the one dungeon. And I did it on a follower difficulty. Hmm. We are over halfway there. That is something. I wonder if I did the centaur hunt, if that would be any good, actually. Because randomly, the super bloom gave me a ton. I think it was from the super bloom, anyway. So maybe my weekly box for doing the hunt would be good. I think it might be worth a try. Can go for Divine Kiss of Onara now. Guess I need to be doing Nakud. Yeah, Nakud's... Oh, you know what made Nakud really annoying for me when I did it? I hope they fixed it by now. But when I did it after the pre-patch, I was unable to dragon ride at all on any mountain there. And it was awful. I had to run around on the ground, or they put like little flight pathy things that can take you from place to place. But, ugh. <laughs> Not good. Not my favorite. So if I was looking for... Oh my gosh, my map is so cluttered. This makes my brain feel like my eyes are blinking open and shut very rapidly. There's so much stuff on my map. I'm here for the Grand Hunt. There it is. That corner of the zone always gets me. <laughs> Still had flight points in there last week. What are you working on? I'm kind of casually farming these storm spirits. I'd like to finish this transmog set <laughs> at some point. Just to kind of take a little break from uh, from the Radiant Echoes. We've been doing that today and we got some progress done. I will do more before the end of the stream. But I want to see just for science if the, uh, if the hunt, begin the hunt, is good for this. Up for an adventure? Off with you. Go the creatures here are frenzied. Kill them! Quickly! Oh, 
I misheard her for a moment. I thought she said, the creatures here are friendly. Kill them! <laughs> the fools! Injured foal defended. Uh, what's the set called? Don't think I have many strong spirits. The quest is called a sacred connection. It's tied to some version of the of the War Within pre-order. If you had the very basic one, I don't know if it would be involved. The frenzied storm riders attire, and then sparkling and shocking storm riders attire. It's just different colors of the storm rider set. I think this might take a while. You know what? I'm I'm having my last my last nostalgia tour of Dragonflight. Do a little hunt. Got the base edition. I yeah, I'm not sure which which tier had the Stormrider set, but it I think was tied to the war within. Right. So my rare scanner is counting the hunt creature as a rare. It's a little farther down than this. Maybe in here. Yeah. Will this give me storm spirits? The land renew by uh, a couple. Also, when I needed those legs. I got plate legs that I didn't have yet. This is kind of worth it just for that. Uh, I've seen Breeze Biter spawn like once. I don't really camp it. I have very much procrastinated on camping Breeze Biter for the mount. For your paladin. <laughs> They're like furry looking. They got little feathers or something on them. Breeze Spider needs to change. I wouldn't get your hopes up. I'm still a little disappointed that I didn't get... Wait, I dropped it. Did I not save it? Oh, you have to take it to land. Oh, I see. It automatically drops. I gotcha. Chuck it up the cliff, it'll be fine. <laughs> Hi Hazel. Hi chat. Hello, mythologist. Got my third drop of plate shoulders. They're uh for future warriors. <laughs> for when you have one of every color. Tricked by the pet dropping a Karakta once. I farmed Karakta a lot. That's one that I didn't really put off. I was farming it during the patch. I was farming it after the patch. And then I feel like it got so hard to find a Karak to spawn up. Like you were almost going to have to camp them because there weren't really groups necessarily. Oh, that's funny. When I levitate, it counts as bringing the foal to land. I was wondering why it had happened in the middle of the river before. I thought that I had just accidentally dropped it and drowned it. Just levitating the foal counts as saving it. That's funny. <laughs> All right. No complaints. I don't mean to full shame, but that one was in knee-high water. I think you were fine. <laughs> I never got it. No, I never got the mount. I got everything else. Comp man, thank you for the 13 month resub. Something has stirred the creatures of this area. Hold them off. Rust feather 2.0. It is nice being able to do lots of damage here. There's a couple more. The Frank Lieutenant is definitely the way. Even if you have to solo spawn it. Hi Hazel, how are you? Hello Kenny, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? For being a leveling zone, supposedly the rares are so overtuned in Zerlik. That was one of the reasons why it was hard. Even when you overgeared it, they were still annoying to solo. They're probably more soluble now, but like, oh, finding them up is awful. Supposedly, they pinky swore promised that when they 
changed it so that the rare spawns would not stay up if there was nobody around. And they made it so you wouldn't just come into having the zone full of them. They said that they were going to improve the drop rates of the items from them to compensate. And maybe they did and I just still got unlucky, but I farmed them for a little while after that too. And it was just not happening for me. Working a lot lately at the hospital. Haven't noticed an improved drop rate. Yeah. And it's like a hard thing because you, you can never prove it, but I don't know. It's nice that I'm not the only person doing this, uh, this hunt. I kind of, I was worried I was going to have to solo it. Yeah, so basically any elite will do it. Bigger elites will give you more, though. The creatures that surround you are I wonder if the world boss would be good. Thin their numbers. Dungeons are better? Yeah. I just don't want to do dungeons. I want to farm it outdoors. I'm being whiny. Not sure you're going to find a bigger elite than a world boss. Yeah, I should give him a go. I might have done the world boss, actually. I think I did stun her on, on my priest earlier to get trading post credit, so she might be done with it for the week. Uh, those don't count. Should probably do dungeons for the weekly, but I also don't want to. I'm thinking I'll do dungeons in the War Within. You know, we got a new expansion coming out later this month. I'll worry about dungeons then. <laughs> paladin to be? I think we, we canned the Paladin. I think we changed the plan to be a Shaman. Um, Not that it really matters for that particular suggestion, but... All right, hunt's done. Will this give me anything? The reason I'm optimistic is because I feel like the super bloom did. Where is scout tomorrow? Did it? Is she over here? She's not really marked on the map, is she? She used to be here. There she is. with it. You did better than All I right. expected. So 357, open the box. The new hunting grounds while these lands 357. Okay, it did not help at all. What about the cash and storms? Nope. I got a staff I can vendor for 150 gold. That's exciting. <laughs> Wowie. Alright, forget that. I forget that. I don't know if Farak is even up. He's not always up, is he? Sometimes he takes a little break. Hey man, gold's gold. <laughs> I have 6,000 gold now that I didn't have this morning. <laughs> Ask me how I did it. Also, that dropped at a 480 item level. That's pretty sick. I don't need it on this particular character, but... I was done talking to you. Oh, you can only see if you're, it's up when you're in the zone. Oh, okay. Let's pop down to the Yazir span then. Maybe I can use a fast travel? Because my dragon... My my griffin's tired. <laughs> my, drink, my griffin needs a nap. Frank needs gym time too. Hmm. In the plains? Oh, okay. I thought I was just in the plains. Let me go back into them. He's in the Unarmed Plains. All right. Is he always up or does he take naps? Because I'm in the plains. I don't see him marked anywhere on my map. I wonder if it's because I've just already done. <laughs> I've done the uh, the quests already. I did the weekly previously, so maybe that's why.
rep buffs are missing. Huh. Uh, did you check the Azur span? People were telling me that it was here. It's always up, shows up depending on activity of the camp. Oh, okay. We'll go take a little look. I have done the weekly already, but I wanted to farm it more for more storm spirits. I'm just having a hard time finding it. I can see the fire, though. <laughs> I can see the flames, so that's an encouraging sign. We'll head right over. Mm, track and field still going. I know, big exciting stuff today. Nothing like the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> Positive sign? <laughs> Question mark? Yeah, this is who we need. Oh, there are people here. Excellent. That's good news. He gives roughly... I want to say 50, but that sounds optimistic. Okay, well, that time he gave me none. Concerning. <laughs> Worrying. You can drop the recruit shield for me. Nice. I am so lost. Glitches with map markers? Yeah. It would not surprise me. Things were a little wonky so far. One first kill, more after. I didn't get any from that kill. I'll try it again. I just wonder if they maybe fixed it. A few from those guys. I just would like to have it off my list so I can get it out of my quest log. My quest log has become quite a mess recently and it would be nice to be able to... There he is again. Actually just clean it up and make it nice and empty for the War Within. When the ward of Farak can't ward off Farak. <laughs> what if it's just like a little child that he's looking after? Okay, that one gave me lots. That gave us somewhere. That was good. Weird. I guess we shouldn't expect this game to behave consistently right now. It's having a tough time. And I get it. It's alright. When there's smoke, there's brat. Well, my quest log almost empty for a war with them. Minus yeah, the raid skips. Kinda hard to get away from. Oh yeah, this is definitely the move. I also have like a supplying the war effort. <laughs> I have this AQ war, the Alliance needs Purple Lotus. I just can't, I just, I don't know. You, it's it's because you can't pick it up anymore. It just makes me happy to have it in my quest log. I don't know why. I didn't even play back then. I'm not even nostalgic for it. I just picked it up once and was like, you know what, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it in my quest log. Every time I log into an alt, my eye starts twitching and forced to confront them. Like, look at this. This is ugly. Skip quest. Skip quests. I don't know what they want. Can I just abandon it? Oops. Um. Keldenos Daily. That's no good. I have kept the Alliance Needs Purple Lotus for a long time. Uh, Nihilotha. That's a skip quest. He'll give me some rep. I guess, honestly, that's in this zone. I could probably just turn it in. But turn it into where? It, it's not highlighting anywhere. I wonder if it's like hidden behind another marker. My map is so cluttered. Also, we have enough uh, wards to summon a guy here.
Maybe they'll encourage you to do old content just to clear them, right? I know. Especially like the Antorus one. I just need to get it done. I'm using rare scanner to track rares. I think that's a big component of my map clutter right now. I could probably turn it off. It's not doing me a lot of good. Although it might be nice in the War Within. It was great in Remix. I will never abandon the Horde needs lead wolf stakes. Got rid of handy notes for that reason. Yeah, when when you want them, they're nice, but when there's so many things marked on the map just by default by the game anyways, it just gets over overwhelming. Alright, this should be, fingers crossed, the last one I need. <laughs> then we can just be done with this quest. Nice. Alright. I don't remember where I turned it into. Maybe maybe it's in Valdraken. Yeah, it's in Valdraken. Alright. Let's track this. Literally track it. Shouldn't it give me an arrow for that? <laughs> Is it does it turn in inside? I just I want my 28 gold. Medallion of a fallen friend. Turns in. It's like, I think it's hidden behind the A-log camp. No. I don't know. It looks like it turns it up in this corner. Locked in a cave. 80, 30. Approximately right there. There we go. Hello, 1961. Thank you very much for the 30-month resub. Appreciate it. I used to have a quest called Test of Hyphen Tech, and I don't know when I accepted it, but there it was one day. What the Dragon Scale Expedition has discovered. Yeah, this, this is starting to make a lot of sense as to why we didn't turn it in. There's the quest giver. I trust you brought your climbing gear. That's okay. This will be satisfying. Show me your hand. What is the point of this quest? Oh, it's almost over. Pick up the Shakar supplies in the back of the cave. It's just like a little storyline. I must have picked it up by accident when I was just in the area looking for something else. How is your hunting? Like I just picked up this, but we really don't need it. <laughs> We're turning that one down. Good. Side quest to introduce you to the centaur people. Yeah, apparently. Okay. Vault of the Incarnates. Two or three shards of the Great Staff. Ugh, heroic Vault of the Incarnates. Skip. I don't have it in me to drop it. Story of a memorable get out of here. Definitely don't need that. Yeah, it's just a ton of skip quests is what it is. That's a little better. My quest log's not dying. <laughs> but it's not great either. RQ viewer heroic, let's go. Just to get the skip quest out of my bags. I'm sure we could smoke it. It's awakened. Mm. I'd have to do yeah, I'd have to do a heroic raid. I'm not qualified for that right now. I have summer brain. I have, I can't. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna. I'm not ready to confront my inadequacies. That's a later me problem. Greetings, Especially not in content that I should know, but I don't. Let's get rid of all this. Clean it up. Lovely, all right. 7,000 gold. I'm gonna put it in my war bank. Also, where did this turn in? This corner of Aldraken. Get our Storm Rider sets. Ah, wee bit stuffy in here, isn't it? Nice. How oh, I miss the open skies of the hinterlands. 
What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear his voice line? <laughs> he said it's a little bit stuffy in here, isn't it? I miss the open skies of the hinterlands. He's standing on the most beautiful lookout over a vast open sky. Goodness, man. <laughs> the Council of Three Hammers it's like when you uh, do a dragon race in the Zerlock Howards and they say it's a fine day with clear skies. You're underground. Uh, I wanted to look at these uh, set recolors that we unlocked. The oh, there they are. Same voice lines he had in Ironforge. Look at all the colors for this. So they're each color has like a a sparking like a sparking version and a regular version. Crazy. Well, that's nice to have that out of the way. I don't know why I just took off there. I mean to go to Dalaran. I got a little bit more Radiant Echoes farming to do today. Especially bad next X pack when everything's underground. How do I get those recolors? Th it's connected to the War Within. I am. I'm just gonna find out which version of it. Pre-order. Heroic or epic editions of the War Within come with the Stormrider's attire. And you can pick up a quest in Veldrak and I, or I don't know where I picked it up from. Might have been Veldrak, and maybe it was auto-acquired that lets you unlock extra colors of it. Maybe they don't have 50 shades of branches for you to use. It's an emergency dragon handbrake. Oh, dear. Man, I feel like as soon as this pre-patch event is over, I'm going to put this griffin away and never ride it again. I know I don't need to be on it right now, but I feel like this is the only time that it will ever feel suiting <laughs> to ride this Radiant Echoes griffin. Uh, Valdraken, yeah. No other, no other dragons that I know of. Check your quest log as well. I wonder, it's possible you already have it. So let's pick up our last daily. It's fascinating how strongly Azeroth remembers these events. And then where are we off to? Not Mornbrew, Hogger. <laughs> Never Mornbrew. I wonder what Azeroth is trying to tell us with these echoes. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of gold making to be done as part of Radiant Echoes. Doesn't doesn't pay a lot. More about the collecting of the catch-up gear. And the leveling, of course. The welding now. Get the quest from that dwarf? Okay. Very southeastern edge then of uh, Veldraken. Just overlooking the cliffs. Two hundred and twenty five from that. Time for leper gnomes. Oh no, the fire lord's up. Oh no he's not. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> leper gnomes it is. Man, these ground things and this whole area really makes me think of, um, I don't know if you guys remember this. In Hardcore Classic, when I was leveling my Warlock, I spent quite a long time, especially when I first got my wand, grinding the Leper Gnomes out front of Nomaragon in Classic. And it was a little sketchy because they were pretty dense spawns. And they would respawn on top of you. And we had a couple of scares. Nothing too crazy because, of course, we're... We're hardcore classic experts. I'm I'm good at being careful. <laughs> pet recolors if you summon the pet. Squally, yeah. You can go find all his friends around Veldrak and that one's quite fast. Loki disappointed they didn't make Hogger the main quest line boss. Yeah, I think that would have been nice. Maybe we can get the Lich King to take a vacation and just send Hogger out to Dragon Blight. What what else what else would be would be a fun one? There. 
would have been better if they'd used the new models. Yeah. <sighs> I felt the blue and yellow effects felt a little lazy. I don't know. No, lazy seems like a bit of a moralistic word. They seem a little simple, I guess I should say. They're... There's not a lot of depth or variation to them. <laughs> I know that those are Azurite colors. I don't really have a problem with putting an effect skin over an existing mount skeleton. I just wish the skin was a little bit more... Like, the effect was a little bit more fancy, I guess. <laughs> you guys are harsh! <laughs> Where is Gul'dan? I think he'd be a memory. Mm. Haka. Or stitches. Probably should have done stitches, but Hakar. We overcame this once, and we will once more. He ain't seen nothing. Pre patch isn't free to play, it's for them to shove as much war within stuff in the game. Well, yeah, that's always been what pre-patches have been about. The events have always just been kind of gravy. The pre-patch is just about them getting a chance to put systems in and then have some time to work out the major broken parts before the actual expansion content rolls out. Original models, you're fighting remembered original creatures? Hmm. Feels rushed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Corrupted blood. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I do kind of like the different memories. The nostalgia aspect of it, I think, works well. There's been a few different of these little events that I've done that I'm like, oh yeah, this thing, and it's kind of that's kind of fun. I like that better than just kind of like generic mobs that aren't that meaningful to me. Last week of August off, so it worked for me. There you go. Yeah, supposedly this one's really dangerous for low level characters. Oh, that poor evoker's toast. Also, it's, yeah, it's snapping my camera. I'm just gonna. Oh. When does the season start? I wanna say September 10th, but please double check that before you book anything. <laughs> Don't call your boss without looking at a graphic from blizzard.com. <sighs> Died three times in a 65 to Hakar. Oh, man. Probably should have just gone to Stitches. I'm surprised he's still up. It's fascinating how strongly Azeroth remembers these events. I don't know. Stitches is down now. Hawker's back. These echoes must be contained. You are correct. It is the 10th. Yes. It's two days after my birthday. I'm killing leopards. I hope none are related to Inksy. Inksy gives me the vibes of somebody who does not um, keep in touch with her family from the gnomes. <laughs> She's got cool new friends in the city. Her, uh, her parents wanted her to go work for Great Father Winter like her aunts and uncles and grandparents have done before her, and she wanted to go <laughs> join the Void. <laughs> Strong independent gnome. He does have a shield, doesn't he? Asperi74, thank you for the seven month reset. All hail the Void. Do we think that the Void is her first choice and then she heals people to, like, gain their trust or pay her rent or... Because <laughs> she does a lot of dungeon healing. More like Ixio joining Zalatap. <laughs> Oh, it's just the day job. Mm. 
Oh, he still has a shield. They turned into a quest guy. Damage taken reduced by 50%. Complete quests to level up and even the field. That's funny. All right. Where is the quest guy? Is it all the way over there? Or is that a different event? That's poison pumpkins. Vile Lord Ragnaros returns. Brace for battle. Oh, it's over now. <laughs> Ragnaros time. Can't disable my XP gains. Oh no. 64 to 69. Two cycles so far. Nice. I'm hoping I get another piece of gear. Get rid of this fuse drape. I don't need it. You will be crushed. By fire be first. Your judgment has come. Excuse you. <laughs> Can I help you? Your judgment has come. Oh. That's a cool hunter. I like the green effect on the bow. I wonder if that's part of the bow itself or if that's something else that they've done. Or if that's just like hunter effects <laughs> that I haven't noticed because I haven't played enough hunter lately. I couldn't see any effects in Remix because Remix was too much of a fireworks. Kinda miss my hunter. Wonder how survival feels these days. I need to pick one hunter to be my hunter. I have lots of them and I'm sure I'll level more, but I need to pick one of them to be like the one that I actually like play and mess around with each expansion. Not as a main, but just as kind of like an alt for farming things, trying out in dungeons, trying out in raids, and then maybe PvPing very casually. <sighs> and it's so hard because I have so many. I like all of them. I have Faleria, which is my human hunter with the Moose Bakar and the Kira Tiger currently on my uh, in my campfire scene. And it's nice having one human there because I do like humans, but I don't know, man. I am going to main Priest and War Within. <laughs> May I suggest a Mechano Hunter? Possible. And then, of course, we've got Squidgy, who is our beloved remix hunter. She'll get released eventually. I don't know. By fire be first. And then, you know, there's, there's races that don't even have hunters of, because hunters can be anything. And I feel like the hunters are beautiful as, like, every race. Like, every race suits them. You know, do I want something that's, like, pretty and elegant? Do I want something that's burly and brawny? Do I want something that's funny? Do I want something that's cute? I just need to stick to one and have that be my hunter so I can build some identity with it. Every race suits hunter, especially Mechanos. I miss streaming hardcore partially just because of your chat messages during it. They were so funny. <laughs> All goblins. Maybe it'll speak it to you after you jump into the war within. I'll have to pick one to level first and that one will be the one. Maybe after this I'll log off and I'll look at the hunters that I have. Or maybe I'll make a new one, you never know with me. I'll look at the hunters that I have. I'll, I'll group them all up and I'll see if any of those... Because I know I have... A Draenei, I have a Dark Spear Troll, I have a human, I have Squidgy. Very casually playing hardcore again. So nice when I have an itch for it. Hair and your Hunters. 
earthen hunter? I don't know about dwarves. If I was going to be a dwarf, I would give her a gun and a bear. I do plan on doing great guides for the war with them. I love how nice night elf hunters look. Yeah. Night elf hunter is just such a... Such a classic pairing to me. Oh, yes, I needed that transform. <laughs> oh, whole thing's not working. Drake Defender's leggings. Those are cloth legs. Very good. Are these Azeroth's men? Okay, stitches, and then we log off and look at the hunters. Just to see if anything speaks to me. Because I know I'm not going to be a hunter main, but as like a, a my top DPS alt, which isn't really a thing, but like, you know, as a, as a DPS alt, has to be hunter. Look at people's night elves shooting arrows, like pretty and elegant. Getting a drop you need is like 5k memories just dropping. Exactly. Sometimes even more, like 8k for certain weapons. Do you like the transmog enough to use it long term? Yeah, the transmog's really nice this time around. It's the same armor models as the Legion pre-patch event stuff, but it's like in beautiful purple Dalarani colors. It's gorgeous. I wonder if eventually I'll burn out on grinding the event and I'll just want to do kind of like my three three bosses a day for, for 9k currency. I don't know. It would take a long time though. Early access is here. <laughs> that is less than three weeks away. Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready. I want to pull. I want to be able to pause time and go into a little pocket dimension where I can just take my time to like deep breathe and plan my life out and do some work and take some naps and you know. <laughs> Catch up. Although I think that um, the idea of ever being caught up is kind of an illusion. I haven't felt caught up since like I graduated high school. <laughs> I was caught up for 10 seconds before I went back to being behind in my whole life. Uh, tips from playing the beta? Ah, I didn't play that much of it. I'm going to be going in not completely blind, but... Um, hello? Excuse? That didn't give me the 200. Oh, I think that's a sign. Last time I felt caught up was mists. <laughs> what about ketchup? Hello, Hazel and Chat. Hello. How are you? Stitches seems bugged right now. Hmm. Three open world remix weapons left. Still need more time to farm. Alright, which... I mean, I'm not going to pick right now, unless I do. Oh, Squidgy's in this list. What happened to what happened to it being Faleria in the list? Maybe she just... I put her in this, like, super simple transmog. And I like it, but I wonder if it's, like, falling behind for me a little bit. If that's making her look a bit drab. Because that's one hunter. Here, we'll get a little list of them going. Where can I collect all my hunters? Forgot about bopping. All right, I have five level 70 hunters. My human, my Draenei, my gnome from Remix, my troll, and then my goblin also from Remix with the squirt gun, iconic. There's nothing stopping me from making more. <laughs> This is kind of sick. I loved Squidgy and Remix, but my main is already a gnome. Mad bias to troll. You think my hair could do the swooshy thing? <laughs> Maybe it needs a little blow dry. I feel like Squidgy had her place. The low fantasy human hunter. 
Or... How do I not have a Night Elf Hunter right now? I always have Night Elf Hunters. No, no. Probably not. No. 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 Well. No. That's not me. Maybe. <laughs> I have a soft spot for orcs and Maghar orcs, but I think I like trolls better. I have a cool troll already. Sandalari troll. Sandalari troll get more gold. KT Hunter's also kind of sick. Yeah, if it was going to be... If it was going to be KT, it would probably be some kind of a... <laughs> I love it. I love it. We have a female rugby player, on, or a rugby player on the female rugby team, Olivia Apps, who rocks the, uh, the completely shaved head. And I just, I'm all about it. Yeah. I don't think I'm a I don't think I'm a blood elf girly. I don't think I I don't think I can do it. Billy Gorgon. Look at you team trapping our players. I watched more of it than I thought I did. Oh. Old Lady KT with all cats and companions. Yeah, that's that's not it. I would do a night elf before I did a blood elf. These aren't it. That's not for me. That's not for me. I'm gonna look at Nightborn. I feel like Nightborn read too fancy for me. I guess the allied races didn't get... Oh no, they do. I was gonna say they didn't get bald looks, but she she does have one. Watch much this evening while grinding the event. What's your earthing gonna be? I don't know. Not that it was a bad question, it's just that I don't know. I, I thought about it. I had one on beta. It was fine. It didn't... I don't know if I really want one. Which feels like a bummer thing to say, but... But my druid is a- my resto druid is already a night elf. They have so many options. <laughs> Female night elf bow animations are bis. Your druid could have a sister. Uh, I don't have every heritage armor, but I caught up on leveling the characters I would need to get them um, when I was playing Remix. So when those characters get released, I'll just do it on them. They just look so nice. I kind of like it with the not complete. I like it with the reddish purple markings. You can pretty easily like overwhelm them with a lot of stuff going on though.
hope Belms get some new customization options soon. Thinking of making a Volpera Hunter? Foxy Boy Ranger sounds fun. Of my three cloth drops, two are the same item. You get extra copies for your alts. I kind of love this. I've made so many of these in my life. What makes me think this one's going to be different? Name her boy! <laughs> Uh, I believe the pets and mounts are safe to buy. We've never, we've, we've got no reports of them ever dropping. I feel like this is such a beautiful hairstyle, but I can, I would be, if I was trying to be hunting in the woods, it would be so in my way. <laughs> it's in her eyes. What is this alt for? I want to pick a hunter to be my, like, hunter. Not my main, but, like, Hunter is going to be my DPS alt, if I'm not playing Shadow Priest on my main. And I want to pick one to commit to, because I have tons of them. And most of them are just for farming, so I want one to be like on my character screen. I suppose it's not real life. She can have Shaggy here if she wants. This is basically Hunter Barbie. Excuse me. Uh, leveling normally, not Remix, actually. I know Remix leveling is probably faster. Yeah, I can't help it. That's... That's it. I used to make a lot of names that were like Avalier and Aralyn. I have um my my rested root is Evaleria with an E. Also, uh, that's Spanish for hazelnut. I've used that before, but... I also like when I can make them short. Katniss. Hey, what are you trying to say? Hunter won't be able to get the recruit gear. Yeah, true. Hazel, how you been? I've been doing all right. Thanks. How are you? What kind of names do these things spit out? Aquilnor? Landia. Stem of Ragon. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm an excessive vowel user when it comes to female names for my characters. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's true. I have to come up with a name myself. If it's not... If it's not a... If, it, if I don't feel like it's my idea, I won't want to use it, because I, I feel like that helps me have, like, a connection to my characters, is when you feel that ownership of having uh, come up with a name. Um, sometimes I, like, Google ideas, but then I'll try to either adjust them or... Does she exhales rage or does she shadow burn? Feels like naming a child. Hey, some wise are bis letter parents. Honestly, shadow Glen. <laughs> I love that zone. Alright. That was not what I meant to do today. But like what if we just like drag her onto that? That campfire scene, so she she feels like she's she's one of the uh big boys. What if pull pull for what? It's so cool that you can see their gold on them. Um I've like, completely lost track of what I was meant to be doing before that. We got the Storm Rider stuff. Oh it's noon! <laughs> I was thinking like what Because I, 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 I can level this character via the event. Oh, let's just get her set up a little bit. <laughs> we can hang out for an extra uh, extra five or ten minutes. No, I'm not going to create the shaman now. we got weeks to do that. You're done for the week. I am! It's my Friday afternoon. Be free. Hang on. We just got to get her, just get, get her like, set up a little bit, you know? <laughs> it's never, never too late. Right, let's have her use Inksies. Not even Inksies. Valyria's damage profile, maybe? Or like, where's where's one of my hunters? That's fine. And then, uh... Auto loot, action bars, heirlooms, you know. Always be master. <laughs> not even a not even a conversation. We have to confirm equipping heirlooms because they'll bind to me now? That seems crazy. And then I'm gonna have to run around looking a little silly for a while until uh, you can get to a level where you can summon your mount and fix your transmog. Let's see, yeah, heirlooms. Fully, full, full set of heirlooms. It's funny to me that you don't start with a pet. For a while they had all hunters auto start with a pet. The toy? Mm. Just to hide some pieces, I guess, because they don't have enough gold to do anything yet. Is the toy on a cooldown? Isn't it like a two-hour cooldown? Ten-minute cooldown. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's just let's just uh hide some stuff. Can we afford to Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah, we can. Is there anything uh we can put her in just for leveling that's gonna feel a little uh 
Can I put her in? I, it's too early to put her in heritage. She doesn't. She has to earn looking cool. She has to earn wearing like higher level gear. But we can at least have her in not heirlooms. Here, you can wear bare feet for now. Let's stick you in like a. Like a maybe like a. One of those bows, and then like. There's matching pants for this, not those. Cause yeah, this is this is I guess at level one it's completely free. That's nice. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite what we're after. She she she'll be in that that heirloom ar or that um, heritage armor eventually, but in my brain she has to earn it, which is bananas. But it is what it is. I think in the meantime we're gonna stick her in like some something something pretty plain, maybe even a little ago. Done. But better than heirlooms. All mog free because of trial of style. Oh, I thought it was because I was level one. When do hunters get pets now? It looks like I can level five. Level five will be your first, your first pet. So you're not without it for very long. <laughs> Parent Hazel makes her earn clothes by doing chores. Some, I've actually recently, with myself, been kind of unwinding this mentality that I need to earn certain things. Like, oh man, you can't do XYZ thing that you enjoy doing because you didn't earn it yet. Because I found that if that mentality worked for me and it made me more productive, then I would stick with it. But all it ever does is just make me... <laughs> it doesn't It doesn't seem to help. It's just another way for me to get kind of down on myself when, when I'm not feeling great. So we've, I've decided that I'm done with that. We're not going to worry about it. I don't have to earn anything. <laughs> I'm going to do my best every day. And uh, that's just it. Oh, there's transmog I can get from doing this. I am glad I'm out here. <sighs> Made a new character didn't transmog her gear until she was 70. Wow. So she can't use- oh no, she can use a mount. She can use the, um, she could use the chauffeured mechaneer's chopper. That's right, we've got the heirloom mount that we could get into. Uh-oh, am I lagging? That's a- uh, that was arcane shot. <laughs> it's just such a iconic- race class pairing for me. I can't resist it. Sometimes you just want a night elf hunter. I think this is going to be my war within hunter. I'm going to play this character. Maybe not in like heroic raids or anything crazy, but you know, some like normal raids, some some low to medium keys kind of thing. Wish transmog was always free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, never tried WoW Pro, no. Peldrassil? It's nice out here. I got a training sword of the fire flash. I'm also a bit curious as to how much gold she's going to get while leveling. I think it'll depend a little bit on... Like, if I end up leveling in the event a ton from level 10 and it goes very fast, I don't think I'll make very much gold doing it. Most cozy race class combo for me. I know the event is really good for 60 to 70, and I know you can do it below there, but I'm, I'm curious as to what, like, the times are. I think that's one thing I want to poke around on. Not that she needs any of the armor. What spec do you think? Sent Sentinel? Uh, I like the, the Dark Ranger with the Black Arrow. That was fun to play. Because Sentinel is only available for... You can't use it as Beastmaster. It's Marks or Survival. And I am, above all, a Beastmaster Hunter. I got some moss encrusted chain pants. Maybe eventually I'll mog her into like the leveling gear. I have the itch to level a character only questing and exploring zones, no heirlooms, to pretend it's like the good old days. 
Hello, Hazel. How are you today? Oh, Hello, Dances excellent. with Cats. I'm doing well. How are you? Cut it at 58. It was brutal. It might be chromie time related. Mm. I don't even think I want to put a title on her. <laughs> don't know why it says I'm watching with no audio. That's ah, okay. Here but lurking. I am nearly finished for today. I'm going, I'd, yeah, I am going a couple minutes over time. I just couldn't resist getting this started. Couldn't, couldn't help myself, but I do need to go soon. I've got a, I've got, I've got the rest of the day awaiting. Honest. Oh, but she wants me to go. <laughs> gotta take off, take care of, yeah, yeah, you got, you got the right idea. <laughs> me too. Thank you very much for joining me today and this week. I will be back next week, starting on Wednesday, for a fresh week of Hazel streams. I appreciate your company. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.